Remember, folks, without you, there is no us. And without us, and with us being here today, we're going to get right into the next match. We got Taizo facing off against Hologram. Yeah, this is going to be crazy. What a start, oh, yeah. man. <laughs> I know, I know. Listen, I, we, we told y'all, we warned y'all. I was there. I haven't seen uh, Taizo play in a while, so I'm going to be very interested in seeing how he handles Thunder, because Thunder got some changes with the Anniversary Edition. Uh, walk speed change, um, and uh, some follow-ups on his... Uh, uh, DP got changed as well, so let's see how this goes. Yeah, Taizo rocking with that patented sender, hologram with the thunder. DP. All right, nice meaty there, gets the staggers. Put a little Let's burnout on the arms. Mm -hmm. Trying to uh, stop the DP. Yeah, Taizo already getting an early start here. And this is pretty much Cinder's bread and butter. Once he gets the burnout and the bombs, however, you got to hit those combos. Yeah, misses yeah. the shadow there. Yep, he missed, the, uh, missed the, uh, the break point as well. So he couldn't even get the shadow as an ender. And now he's got a real nasty situation. Oh my god, stays in the front. They got to be careful with uh, Cinder's DP. That follow-up is coming out. Anybody's game. Oh, oh from downtown. <laughs> Got a little juggle here. Let's see if he can cash out some damage. Not gonna kill. Oh, almost. Yeah, for all the centers mix-ups, he does tend to lack a bit in the damage department, and rightfully so, right? Because he has so many ways to open you up and do it safely once he gets the bombs on you. So we're gonna get some bomb, some uh, bomb action here. No burnout. <laughs> Oh, what's this gonna be? Yep, shadow command grab zero after the the freeze. So if you weren't already jumping, it's a it's a wrap. Yeah, and this is getting scary, right? Because thunder with that uh with that shadow dash. Nice chase down. Got to burn out arms. He's just gonna try to chill and try and reduce some of this white life. Oh, but he go, but Tizo goes right in, trying to take advantage of the white life he's built up. And he's going to. Oh my god. Nice damage. Really good damage for Cinder, especially. Oh, he gets a repack? Left. Oh, missed Shadow Counter. Oh, wow, he's just holding up. I was scared of the command grab. Right, so right because Thunder is one of those characters that's hard to stop once they start. And here we go with the instinct, instinct pop. Uh oh. Oh yeah, this is Nick City. He just wants none of it. Tries to DP out, taken to the air to to avoid any of the mix, and that's gonna that's gonna do it for the first game. Well done, Taizo. He doesn't seem to have lost any uh, any skill from this time away, so this is gonna be a yeah, good match. I'm pretty sure. sure. For sure, right? And as you you pointed out earlier, you know, Taizo was just staying mobile. Just a lot of jumps, a lot of trying to avoid holograms, grab mix-ups, right? Not really giving hologram any clean hits. And as you saw there, like, immediately when hologram got the instinct and started getting something started, Taizo just kept jumping up. No, you're going to have to read me. You're, I'm not going to give you what you ideally want, right? So Exactly, just stuff, exactly. Just stuff. Yeah, mixing up your obviously mixing up your defensive options against Grab is you know the the key to avoiding the uh, the vortex of death and getting command grab five times in a row for YouTube. You know how it is. <laughs> so it's like um, he did a really good job, uh, especially using uh, Cinder's mobility to just keep him guessing and force him to make some really nasty reads, which he really didn't have meter for uh, for most of the time. He had to, he had a hard time building a lot of that meter. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And, you know, that was good on Taizo as well, utilizing the burnout early, right? Putting in fire yes. on uh, Thunder's arms because that is where he gets a lot of his damage. That's where a lot of his entire kit comes from. He doesn't really use his feet too much. He's a big upper body brawler in that case. And as for those of you that are pretty much aware, right, the burnout works as such. The Whichever limbs are on fire, the more you use them, the more white life stacks up. And that gives Cinder an opportunity to cash out big damage. So, you know, Taizo having that awareness, just trying to take away those key tools with this stuff. Exactly. Jump in. Oh my god, just chases the back dash. Yeah, there's a lot of Bigaws in neutral trying to uh, uh, get through the projectiles. Uh, Bigaw or the DP is projectile vulnerable for like almost all of it. So it's a really good tool against zoners. Oh, here we go with the mix. Oh, the command grab mix is so nasty. Nice break. Oh, 
Dash through DP, it's a classic. <laughs> Just wasting some of the instinct, building a little bit of shadow for himself as well. Hologram's in a huge lead. Oh, good interrupt there with the DP. Just catch him with the overhead, that's so nasty. Now we got the mix, it's a hard knockdown. I didn't, I guessed wrong. I thought he was gonna stay in the front. <laughs> <laughs> right, we all got hit on that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, what a break, I didn't even see the normal. <laughs> oh, command grab into the corner, hard knockdown. This is pretty nasty for Ty though. Yeah, the life okay. lead, yeah, the life lead, the mix, this is, uh, this is rough. Let's see if he can get something started with this, this uh, instinct. Yeah, this is what we were talking about earlier, right? Once Thunder gets started, it is very hard to stop. And exactly. Already, you can see with the amount of real estate hologram is built up for themselves, the Shadow Dash mix-ups is getting kind of funky. Yo, that was sick. Oh, yeah, God, that's that's... how I killed him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, for those of you that have been seeing, and for those of you that may not be aware, Thunder Shadow Dash does have invincibility frames, so that's why you saw him just pretty much phasing through Cinder's attempts to wake up and reversal out of there. And not to mention, you know, it is something that he can manually stack up. So every time you see him call the lightning upon himself, that is him gaining that Shadow Dash usage. He gets one, he doesn't get multiple, but as you can see, Hologram always looking for the hard knockdown so that way they can set themselves up for that, for that dash. Yeah, Hologram's got a lot of steps too, where he can get the uh, the crow buff, the dash buff, as well as a meaty uh, on a hard knockdown setup. So it's uh, he's got a lot of ways to get pressure started, like real, real uh, easy off of like a simple vortex uh, hard knockdown. It's just like it's real, it's a real nasty spot to be in. <laughs> like you hear a lot of people complain about Thunder and his vortex, and that is one of the reasons why. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The stuff of nightmares, right? Because of the thunders, he's like a very meat and potatoes character. He's yeah. very strong and very simple, you know? He doesn't take too much to really put together. And you can get creative, as you said earlier, right? Hologram has some, some tricks in the bag to really, like, keep Kaizo guessing. But, you know, again, it's just he's a very foundationally solid character. Right, with huge damage. Oh, get yeah, hit by exactly. the overhead again. Oh, my God. I like to call it the Guile effect, you know, like one of those characters that's just designed that good. Like, yeah. Even if you nerf them, they're still going to have the general stuff right here. Exactly. Let's see if Kaizo can reverse it and get started. It's going to be a lot of, I think, Cinder trying to keep uh, Hologram um, out, essentially. Building up white life with burnouts and uh, uh, um, those flames, essentially. Even on block, he can still build a lot of white life, so he's probably going to look to do that exactly like that. Checking the legs. Oh, he gets dash through command grab. Such a classic. Dash through command grab, dash through DP. You see those from Thunders all the time. It's real nasty to deal with. Oh, went in for the extra uh, link there, so uh, good stuff there. <laughs> and that's the mental stack, right? Like, he purposely doing the heavy, uh, the heavy extender to dare Taizo to go for a breaker, right? But Taizo, mm -hmm. you know, just kind of kind of accepted their fate, right? Didn't go for a counter breaker. Didn't go for a breaker there because it's like, oh, okay, if, if I guess wrong, I'm going to be dealing with a lot more stuff. Exactly. That mental breaker game. That's only new combo. Here comes the Vortex. Oh, just respects the DP because Cinder's, Cinder got that down up DP. Also annoying, but it's super baitable. Oh, dash up. Regular dash up. Shadow command grab. I love it. Brains, yeah. Brains. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Taizo getting some started here, trying to land a round for themselves, but it's looking dangerous. All right, got the, got the round. But yeah, the hologram still has instinct, and now he's <laughs> Taizo's in danger. This is, he's gonna pop instinct. Oh no, he's just gonna chip him out. Oh my god. That would have been an instant pop dash through into probably madness. Yeah, because, you know, <laughs> Taizo did have the meter, right? And had an opportunity to shadow counter. But like you said, Hologram felt, you know, kind of felt like they were waiting on that. And mm -hmm. it's one of those checkmate situations that you got to deal with. Yeah, and that's one of those you can't shadow counter early because of the armor. So, like, mm -hmm. some of the slower ones, uh, slower shadows, you can shadow counter early. Um, but that one, absolutely not for, like, 99% of the cast. <laughs> yep. Remember, folks, this is a uh, first to three all the way through. So uh, buckle up, strapping your seatbelts. We're going to be in for a bit of a ride.
I wouldn't have it any other way. Exactly, exactly. And appreciate everybody coming through today. We are almost already at 500 viewers and we ain't even been here for no more than 10 minutes. Thank you everybody coming through. Make sure that you are telling your friends, your family, whoever's just sitting around here on this Easter Sunday to come check out some killer instinct. Yeah, for sure. That two to one Tazo needs to make up some ground here. I was good on Taizo to hit the reversal on the uh, DP extender there, right? Because at that point, all the invisibility is gone. Exactly, exactly. Even, like, regular DP isn't even technically strike involved. It's only upper body involved. So you can just flip him from his legs, even meaty. Um, it's just it's just that projectile involved that he's, he's using it mostly for. But Taizo's really just taking it to ho hologram right now. He's got him in this corner. Let's see if... Uh, Hollow can get out with this instinct. Oh, it looks like he can. <laughs> oh, dash through into the corner, gets DP for his troubles, and now he's gonna waste out this instinct. Doesn't want to deal with any of those crow dashes. Yeah. Oh, that's good adaptation there from Taizo, right? Because the thing about dealing with Thunder is that he's gonna hit. He's gonna get damaged some way, somehow. It's just in his hit. It's just how he's designed. For sure. Taizo not letting himself get rattled here and being able to make those adaptations, being able to, you know, just essentially uh, being able to uh, stick it out and stay in the pocket, so to speak. Right, right here, right there, already like getting them to the they do for themselves. So mm -hmm. that's really good. Mr. Sure. He's got this white light built up, but he's getting thrown into the corner. Let's see if he can. Oh my god. Any DP is very nice reaction. Wow. So he's probably gonna get something out of this. Yeah, to get some damage. Oh, now Hologram's in a scary spot. He has to pop instinct here. Let's see if he can vortex him. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, the overhead! Alright, here we go. Party time. What's the guess? Oh my god, what side was that on? <laughs> some things never change, chat. Yeah. <laughs> Oh god, that's death. Wow. That was like two dashes in a row, I think. Yeah, I know, right? And that's what makes Thunder so scary is that normally when you see uh, the dedicated Conra mains, not pocket main players, you know, him and Freaky Jason are like a last of a dying breed almost in that case, right? Yeah, you tell me. Um so this is gonna be interesting. I know there is a bug. We have a chance of seeing this bug. Hopefully we won't. Um, where if you absorb a as a ram, if you absorb a bug projectile, you can accidentally uh, freeze yourself in place until you get hit. So hopefully we won't see that. Luckily it's not like a full lock on the game, but it's possible. Yeah. So uh, Duel getting that slow on there. His uh, comrade's floor grab. That's one of the uh, unique things about it. That it's slow. Has the uh, the bugs up? Yeah, he's basically playing the Sony game, trying to uh, force break out to spend as much life as possible, just trying to get in. Yeah, um, a little helper out, right? Forcing Ram to make a make a read, stay exactly. out the way. And this is really tough for Ram because Ram's movement is not his strong point. So for Khan Ra here, he really doesn't have to do much. He just has to stay out the way. And already one vital mistake is going to immediately put him back in the blender. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised that didn't chip. Yeah, uh, yeah. Duel's so godlike with the uh, Shadow Pit usage. He loves sitting on, on the pit. And he rarely ever takes uh, a risk because he wants that, that stinger, that automatic stinger there. Now we got yeah. Ram in Instinct. Let's see if he can uh, put this to work. Basically, he's going to let the white life build up and hope for a single catch out like this. Let's see if he can get something going. Yeah, got the combo there. Oh, no. No dice from the shadow counter. There might have been an input error. Oh, that was close. He almost triggered the bug there. <laughs> All right. And this is just master class play, right? pretty much the typical zoner versus grappler. Not necessarily zoner versus rushdown, right? Because a lot of rushdown characters tend to have more than one unit. Like, this is a traditional zoner versus grappler matchup. It's usually one of the hardest matchups to navigate because it requires the grappler to make so many hard reads to get in here. But once we get in, uh-oh. 
Well, yeah, it's go time now. Yeah, here we go. Big boot there with the fierce. Oh, we got setups. Oh, he just four dashes out. Uh, the instant four dash, so good, so fast. Yeah, and it's airborne, so time. gets out of the way immediately. And like you said, right, really smart usage there of the pit knowing that they're just going to stay out the way as long as they maintain that sweet spot that range they're good to go plus the blocks oh no conversion there on the back fierce punch Ooh, and we're out of there oh yep. my gosh the awareness i forgot he was even there <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, he's got the, uh, yeah, he's got the shadow pit up. This is going to be extremely difficult. Yeah, he just just goes for it because, you know, you got to get in somehow. And that, that singer is not going to let you in. Oh, God. All oh, right, because, of course, you can teleport to it. You can use the Antlion uh, to uh, try to get a capture there, to get a recapture, or just get an opener in general. But mm -hmm. it's so helpful if you just let it do its thing and just keep it on the screen. Even when breakouts and instincts, they're still not able to capitalize because the pit is always there, always watching. Exactly, exactly. And that, <laughs> that was one game. Uh, Duel took it down. Duel's not afraid of literally just timing out every single game. Um, so he, he will bring it down to the wire. That was down to eight seconds in KI time, which is a, um, a significantly patient match. You don't get a lot of those. But again, that is also because of the matchup. You know, zoner and set play character versus... Uh, a grappler who has a real hard time getting in so that makes sense yeah you know and because again right because ram has is a grappler but conra has shades of grappler tendencies as well right having those mm -hmm. wraps always check yeah it. and you oh. know what yeah he's he's tired of it he doesn't want to play that game anymore he wants to play the uh uh the two brain cell game <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> hey listen i love all these characters these are two of some of my favorite characters in the entire game so i'm happy yeah you know. <laughs> as, a, as a fan, I am pleased. Yeah, I don't. As I don't a like this. 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 This shit kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. I definitely feel from the uh, the side of being on defense against any of these characters. But yeah. <laughs> exactly. Let's see if and he can get. Yeah. Let's see if he can get something going against Duel here with uh, Idol. It's going to be rough because Duel definitely knows the matchup. And here we go. We're gonna have some watchmen. Oh, he just Ooh. left a gap so he could. Man, grab him very nice, and now he's in the corner and he gets comboed off the shadow bug. That's god -like. Oh my gosh, I wanted to recap so bad, but I understand that you gotta sick, keep yeah. the resources. Oh, go through the meteor, but yeah, it didn't he jumped it. So, all right, now this is definitely one of those situations where Conrad has to wait. Idol has one of the best instincts in the game. Yeah, there you go, you know, just a whole bunch of. A bunch of madness on the screen there. Oh, uh, that's yeah. just ran out. What a meteor follow up. Yeah, I don't think it's definitely one of the craziest in the game. You basically, it's just like respect me, the instinct. Uh, essentially. Yeah, <laughs> it's my turn all the time. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that is not real. Oh, there with the stand short. Oh, the mix up. Breakout doing way better with Idol than he was with Ram. I think this is a really good choice. I mean, you know, Ram versus versus uh, Conrad is rough as hell, so. Yeah, for sure. And of course, you know, Breakout has resources too. It has a barb, has a pip on the uh, zoner side, right? The purple, the purple brain. But Conrad, you know, Duel doing a great job of just keeping them contained because they know once again, like, if Idol gets a hit, it is going to be bad news. And they have instincts. So they're just trying to do their best to keep them out. And it looks like it's succeeding. What? Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I need April wow. to go ahead and uh, hurry up. <laughs> Bro, do a kill me. Did somebody clip that, the please? Hell was that? I, I, need, I, need a, I need a redo. I need a, a replay something. Before that happened, I was going to mention how godlike Duel's mid-screen pressure was. Oh, he's going to get clapped. Oh, yeah. Um, Lord Heavy Punch. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a significant um. amount of damage, but... Oh, no! This catches him dashing. Okay, now he's scary. So his warrior form has all the buttons. If he doesn't switch to mage form, he... Okay, here we go. Oh, my God. But the perfect timing to see the jump. Oh, he gets yeah. caught trying to anti-air him. Oh, my God. Is he really gonna lose this? 
Oh my gosh, that was so that was crazy. Wrong shadow. Oh my god. Yes for Jamie. He, he got no he didn't commit. Oh what a block, dude. It blocked it again! Oh my gosh! Dude, what a god. I, I don't know how you blocked that, especially online. Anyway, what I was trying to mention before is um before that madness happened, uh Duel's mid-screen pressure there, he had a block string mix with the uh the shadow pit that was just so tight that uh breakout couldn't do anything and he was mid-screen like he was he looked like he's trapped in the corner mid-screen and duel's like a master at that so man he's got conra's pressure on block it's it's just so fun to watch yeah definitely right and that was just such a wild ending again yeah i know <laughs> this <laughs> is whole game only was crazy. match two this is only match two. We have a full bracket to get through tonight. So I exactly. hope you got your snacks. I hope that you have, you know, fed yourself, used the bathroom, whatever. I'm gonna need to grab some more coffee. I'm already like, oh God. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he gets blocked out, you're gonna get a throw. Yeah, nice damage. The throws don't scale very much normally. More pressure in this corner. Warrior form idol is uh, yeah, real hard to deal with. Oh, the buttons are amazing. You really have to try and zone them out. Yeah, plus frames, command grab mix-ups. On top of, you know, idols already interesting, like face buttons, right? That, that yeah. Like, gig, the jumping medium. Exactly. We got Shadow Pit. Yep, Duel's just going to sit on it. He's got the life lead, so he Ooh. knows that he's got to come to uh, come to him. Yeah, and uh, Breakout is. trying to catch a, a, a raw button there with the uh, more medium punch. Mm -hmm. The launcher, we get set up, and he's just gonna chill. Yeah, he's just gonna zone warrior form. Oh! That didn't hit. I guess he was trying to do a shadow or something. Nice block. There we go. Time to guess, time to block. Chip damage. Oh my god, that was so much chip. Yeah. Uh oh, he's gonna go through this. Instant cancel. That was smart. Very smart. Here we go. Oh, he gets the pit set up. Oh, oh my, my god. <laughs> Anime Dash character vibes, you know? Mm hmm. Now, just imagine that, but worse than you would have season two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Faded out the grab there. Oh, try to get the jump. That was an interesting read there from Breakout. Mm hmm. Yeah, Khan just playing super patient. Oh, that was smart. Same side. Still just can't can't crack his defense yet. Oh yeah. my god, point blank command grab. You have to respect breakouts attempts, right? Because they are trying to find the opening, the chink in the armor, so to speak, to, to get them. And it looks like they're going to get that opportunity. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice timing on the warrior form. Very lucky. Really needed that. Shadow, shadow charge. Oh dear. Here we go. Get the command grab. Now he's just gonna pressure him in the uh, the corner. Probably another. Yep, another heavy. That does so much chip, especially when you uh, enhance it. Yeah, oh, and Duel trying to do their best to just wait it out, right? Even eating the grab, so to speak, and, and just not letting them break out, make them panic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the command grab doesn't do much damage, so it's worth it. When he's sitting on it again, here we go. See if he can yep. get through. It's so brutal, because the, the stinger also applies slow for like a, a few seconds, which is like, oh my god, what do you do? Yep. And Duel doing a great job there, using those heavy punches to just keep breakout out. Yep, just letting the stinger business, not over committing. Oh, nice Oh, so stylish. <laughs> Well done, Duel. You will no longer need this. You get a 7 out of 10 for me on that one, Duel. Breaking the characters. I actually can't believe he went with Omen. Uh, I very, he, I haven't seen him play Omen in like a hot minute. So, uh, curious. Well, I haven't seen him post with Omen, you know, so that's what I'm saying, mm -hmm. right? Like, Nate's always cooking. You know? don't, yeah. don't doubt for a second that he doesn't have something in his back pocket. That bag of tricks is deep. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh, we get started off before uh, air dash into mix. Yeah. yeah, just mixing with taco. You know how it is. Don't want to get caught with the parry. 
So absolute uh, Isako main for a long time now. Uh, he's been trying a lot of other characters too, but this is definitely his uh, most well-known pick. Yeah. All right, go ahead and pop that instinct there. We're gonna go ahead and get things started. Isako, a character that is also the stuff of literal nightmares. <laughs> Ghost girl coming at you. All right, so we got the setup. She's an instinct. Empty jump to try and bait something out. Oh, wow. Such a late cancel into the linkers. Wow. And yeah, Nate just mixing up his timing on the jump in so that, you know, trying to bait out a, a parry, essentially. Yeah, the demon highlighter, you know, just kind of moving around right now. <laughs> Not the Mountain Dew. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> oh, he breaks it. I thought that was going to be a, a counter breaker for sure. Oh, this is the ant here. And also, something to, to speak on, right? We have seen a different character every match. So far, we have had six characters in three games. So that is excellent to see right now. Yeah, it's really cool to see. Uh, KI, like you said, has been out for uh, over 10 years now. And it's uh, it means that all these character specialists have had time to basically cook with their characters. Yeah, and speaking of cooking right now, uh, Crazy Skate Nate got the lockout. One of the unique yeah. things about Omen, he has the ability to literally take away resources from you. Similar to Spinal in that case. Oh, shadow form to get out. Yeah, he's, he's running a train on, on uh, uh, Sako here. Just constantly mixing her up so she can't really <laughs> use her defensive options. Yeah, just sweep on the trade on the sweep. But she gets uh, possession there and gets the light bar. Oh, sweep, sweep. again. Oh! Ooh, yeah, jumping medium kick. Nice button, especially after a back jump, forward dash after back jump with a medium kick. Just the long limb of the law, we're gonna say. Awesome yeah, not a lot of like crazy tech from, from Nate. He's just uh, essentially trying to, uh, uh, you know, just mix up his options and make it so that Sako doesn't really have much to do on defense except just hold that. Sure, right, and, and and we're seeing a lot of like conventional matchups in this case, right? We saw between, um, you know, we saw with the uh, Khan Ra versus uh, General Rom. We saw with um, you know with Cinder facing off against Thunder, right? Like both of those are mix of characters, but Cinder has more range, like stronger range options than Thunder at that point, right? So you even saw for a moment where Taizo was just opting to just stay back, do not give Thunder those opportunities. And you're seeing a lot of that here with Nate, as you see him using that mobility. That's essentially the advantage that he has against Sako, being able to use that, you know, that glide, that air dash, if you will, to constantly keep the Sako guessing and just to stay out of the way of her most dangerous tools because for all intents and, intents and purposes, Hisako is a grappler herself. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. Some of her scariest uh, threats come from grappling. Ooh, nice break. That's going to really put a damper on Zero's ability to mix. Once Hisako pops in, thinks she really just wants to mix, mix, mix. She doesn't want to do combos. She just wants to keep you guessing and use as much of that free wrath as she can. Oh wow, and a reverse pop on the instinct. Oh my god, so so ballsy using the uh, uh, using Omen's wake up uh, uh, shadow or the the order the light order that that is like one of the worst wake up reversals in the game. Uh, pretty much every character can avoid it except for the really big characters. So. But, you know, sometimes the, uh, the quote-unquote worst option might actually work out in that case because in these kinds of high-level matches, right, everybody knows your best option, right, to a degree. Like, everybody knows what you want to do. So right. Doing something that can keep, kind of, you know, surprise your opponent and just keep them guessing, you know, in this case, did work out. For sure, for sure. Now Zero the got the light bar. Nice. The mm -hmm. Got some signs of life here. Nice parry. Good guess. Oh, wow, that's the latest break I think I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, and that is one of the things that makes Killer Instinct one of the most unique fighting games out, right, is the combo breaker system. You can immediately take away your opponent's momentum or build up more for yourself in this case. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, that's going to be a, yep, ultra. Very nice. Where, what a confirm. That's a hard confirm to do into uh, uh, the uh, Furious Flurry kicks straight into ultra. <laughs> Very nice. So that's two up for Nate. 
see if uh, Zero is going to make any adjustments and stick with Sako, or if he's going to try something else. Right. And remember, folks, see a lot of action on the screen. You're loving the sparks flying. You're loving the, the beatdowns. Please make sure you show more of your support by hitting up that Macarino. Exclamation point Macarino in the chat. Give you the ability to contribute to the pot for free. If you haven't noticed, there's a nice little red little square that pops up every now and then. It shows everybody we're redeeming those coupon codes, so you can utilize those. And there it is right there. And you can also utilize the sponsor quest as well. Oh my goodness, with the uh, air dash and the jump into the uh, air light kick there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that light kick's so nasty. It's actually like one of his cross-up buttons, and it's like behind him. So you can just back dash and clap, and clap someone with it. Yeah, Nate's kind of partying at this point because he's going for a lot of double air dash mix-ups, you know, pretty much just kind of having a field day with that air dash. Yeah, he's definitely playing around. He's got some room to play. Oh, wow. I'm surprised much for influence. Probably just got his inputs confused. Oh, wow. I'm trying to hold the distance there. Oh, man, those shadow forms are really messing with, with Zero a little bit here. Yeah, because, you know, you can bait it, right? You can definitely punish it, but it's just one of those will they, won't they moments. And yeah. Not really having any reason to uh, to doubt it. Mm -hmm. so it's throwing it out there at, pretty much at will. It's kind of crazy, you know? Yeah. Like, eh. <laughs> oh, wow, what a pet. Oh, yeah, for sure. That would have been funny. I would have done a full combo because he had to double uh, Shadow Rasha. Mm -hmm. All right, Got damage under. There. Nice break. He needed that. Oh, oh good what a block. Can he get some setup? Just dash up influence. Isako gets a, a lot of things after that, but with Omen and Shadow Form, you know, it can be a little tricky. It's still anybody's game too, you know, pretty much even on health. However, uh, absolute zero with the resources, uh, resource advantage. Yeah, for sure. This is, this is definitely doable from both. In fact, yeah. zero in a really good position right now. Yeah, and this is kind of where Omen starts to fall off, right? When he doesn't have the ability to capitalize off of the Shadow Meter because for all the things that Omen can do, he is a very expensive character, so. Crazy Skate Nate trying to close things out here. Mm -hmm. Danger for zero. Oh, he oh, drops out of it. Gosh, they were so close. Oh, one Nath here. Oh, that's not a recapture. Oh, nice patience. Waited on anything, basically, and just checked him for it when he saw it and reacted. Very nice. So, zero on the board. Let's see if he can bring it all the way back around. It's going to be quite a climb, especially against uh, Nate, who probably wouldn't be shy about switching characters. <laughs> yeah, you know, they got about eight of them, right? Exactly. So, it's gonna be a bit of a, a bit of a tricky situation here for Zero, locked into the cycle for the duration of the set. Mm -hmm. But Zero was making some really strong reads there towards the end, definitely started figuring some things out, right? And we're gonna get more Omen. More Omen, let's go. And Nate has a game to give, so we're gonna try things out here. However, if they do end up losing this one, I expect to see uh, some Shadow Jago. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Either Shadow Jago or maybe even Jago. He wants to, to try the hard matchup. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Ooh, dashing up under those fireballs. Yeah, that's a super uh, good tool for Sako. Such a catch. Oh, we're going to get some tricky stuff. Yeah, oh that's so gosh. rough. <laughs> Yeah, and the thing is, like, Zero's forced to make a choice, right? You're either gonna, you're either gonna try to catch them for doing those dashes, or you're gonna get hit with a beam, right? Because again, the Rocket Shuken definitely is a threat anytime Omen gets a knockdown. So Zero is trying to be patient, and Nate is essentially using that patience against him. Yeah, and it's it's super tough because like Rasha or even um uh, the Orda or Shield, like. What do you do with Sako on Wake Up? You can't parry because the orbs are going to hit you. Um, you can't mash because the orbs are again going to hit you. Uh, so you really just have to hold it. And speaking of which, this is what I'm talking about. You just really have to hold that first meaty and yeah, you can get hit for it. 
Oh my god, that jumping medium punch right into Ultra. That was smart. <laughs> yeah, jumping medium punch also can hit behind Omen as it swings down. Yeah. Very, uh, very interesting character. Remember, folks, use those channel points to predict who is going to take this set, Letalis or Chronicle, and we got Tusk in the building. Yeah, not surprised to see Tusk either. Uh, Tusk, another one of his uh, go-to characters. Big damage. His spirit step goes under uh, a criminal amount of things. Um, so, yeah, he's going to be using that a lot. Uh, a lot, a lot. And, of course, Arya having the reduced health on each of her health bars going to mean that she can die in basically one combo if things go right for Letalis. <laughs> oh my goodness, using that dash to get another projectile out there. Smart stuff from Letalis. Chronicle doing a great job, however, of keeping Letalis contained. You know, Tusk is one of those characters that is very dangerous to let loose. Those big swinging heavies, right? Having that reflect, deflect, whatever you want to call it, right? I, I, I'm just going to say it's a parry within a button, right? There you <laughs> go. It's inception. <laughs> yeah, a parry you know, a like, it's, it's, it's a lot game. of things. It's a lot of things, and it hurts. That's the bottom line. It hurts a lot. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. It doesn't help that it's attached to most of the big buttons. Oh, what a shadow going through the arc. What a read. Yeah, I think Letalis likes to play Tusk a little bit belligerently. Oh my god, what a, what a mix-up. Yeah, that was a crazy cross under there. Oh my god. Yeah. The float, the float is so brutal to deal with. This, the uh, booster body is like one of the first that's gotta go, essentially. Like, every time. It's the mix-up body, it causes so much havoc for so many people. Um, yeah, it's, it's, you, once you take that that body out, things do get a bit easier for most characters. But if you can't get rid of that body, it's 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 hell. <laughs> How else yeah, to put it? <laughs> yeah, the anime body, right? And yeah, there's, exactly. There's a bunch of crazy mix-ups there. That cross under so scary. The mm -hmm. floats super scary, and on top of that, full screen control with the projectiles from the the body assist as well. You know, Arya is pretty much a full complete character has everything that you would need except health right and <laughs> rightfully so <laughs> yeah i think it probably sand to lose a few more things anyway um yeah <laughs> you <laughs> know yeah we are super happy that they they increased the hit stop on that that's actually shadow counterable now uh even online which is it was like that was a nightmare to deal with before but she can right. still put the assist behind it to make it uh, unchannel powerable. Oh my god, we got a nice combo coming out here. I don't know if Letalis is going to be able to get anything started. Hold on now. Ooh. Got him out, right? Because Letalis, again, will surprise you. And this is where things get ugly. Instinct on the table for Tusk. Letting him pretty much cancel just about all of his moves here. And here we go, getting the slide. But then get to cancel afterwards. Gets counter broken. Oh my god. That's definitely going to be the life bar. Oh wow, he uses a crescendo ender for some reason. Alright, Chronicle doing a good job controlling here, but Letalis doing a good job of getting rid of that body. Here we go, now we got a game. Yeah, this now we got a real game. Get dangerous. Yeah, this is where things get dangerous. Still has the zoning and still has the like neutral right, because the sword is a really strong tool for neutral, but that's what kind of Tusk wants, right? He's, exactly. got, he's got some big buttons as well. Good shadow counter! Oh, the lockout. This is a dead body. Oh, my oh, God. My God. 85%. Let's go. What a combo. Yeah. <laughs> and again, folks, the surprise that is Letalis Venator in just two clean reads already turned things around. And now it is Chronicle on the defensive. Yeah, he's got to pop instincts. Uh-oh. He might not get a chance. He's going to pop it here, right? Oh, he didn't. So greedy. Okay, gets a lockout. This is gonna be some decent damage. It doesn't. Oh, this goes for a reset. Yeah, and, and rightfully so, right? Because like you still want to conserve your resources for that final strike, and you still have to take on the table. So I understand Chronicle wanted to uh, go for a reset there to try to get the next big, big hit, oh. and then utilize the the resources. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it makes sense because like. Like, uh, he only had a uh, base body, which is the, the poo poo damage body, essentially. Um, she it can't really do much with with uh, that body as far as damage goes in instinct. You really want the sword body so that you can uh, do the shadow, um, 
uh, Allegro, I think it is, and then Shadow Cash, or Cash Out with the Shadow uh, DP. But uh, good on Letales for taking that. We got a real match now, one to one. Yeah, for sure, right? And, and that's essentially the key to Arya. You gotta wear her down. Just keep mm -hmm. getting rid of those bodies. And Tusk is probably one of the best picks for that because, again, all he needs is just one. One clean hit. And like you said, you saw right there, right? The body was deleted pretty much. Yeah. Early, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, the float. I'm surprised he didn't turn it around for the, uh, the autocorrect on that jumping heavy punch. Oh, God, meeting Crescendo in the air. Such a good tool to check anything on reaction. Yeah, we're starting to get into middle stack territory here. Chronicle going for obvious combo extenders on purpose just to see if Latalis will break. And, the, and Latalis getting the counter breaker right, knowing that they want it out at that point. And oh my gosh. Oh, 98%. That's messed up. Yeah, Chronicle forced the switch out there. I'm surprised he tried to break that. Oh. But yeah, caught him for it. What a read. So now, yeah, Chronicle trying to make... Oh, that one oh. hit took like 30%. Oh. And that's oh, a God. bad body there. For sure. Oh, wow. Oh, my yeah, God. 80%? Look... <laughs> Look else is just murdering Look at those this character. Stats. <laughs> <laughs> Got a lag here. Yeah, using it early, right? Trying mm -hmm. to get this as an opportunity to maybe get it back. Oh, oh. cheeky read there. That's cheeky uh, set, set up there. We're going for the uh, the jumping uh, down heavy punch break. Yeah, I don't hate it. Uh, Letalis very rarely goes for it. So yeah, it makes sense. Those, those stacks. Oh, oh my gosh. God. Just get it. Ooh. What a read on that heavy punch uh, uh, Allegro. That's crazy. Alright, yeah, Chronicle's still having the uh, boost body around, trying definitely to protect it because, again, that is the one that is going to give you a lot of your bread and butter, a lot of your best options. Yeah, he really needs to hang on to that one as much as he can, try and push him away with uh, the assist. Uh-oh. Oh, he was pushing. This is brutal. Oh, my God. That was oh, that was bait. so dangerous there. Yeah, Using the, that was... uh, standing short to bait him. Oh, what a mean setup! What a back dash! Oh yeah, my goodness, saying. that was three back-to-back -back hard reads! Four! Oh my god. Oh. He's not going to be able to get anywhere really near killing, but he's now in danger, so... Oh! Oh, that was it! Ah. No! <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that was, a little, uh, that was a little crazy at the end there, but Krakow brought it way back. Um, yeah, Letalos had a huge advantage there for a while, but... Uh, uh, a missed opportunity um, on both sides, to be honest. Chronicle had that short short. He almost uh, confirmed it. If he did, that would have been the game there, but still gets it in the end. Whew. Yeah, those high intensity situations, right? They get real ugly real fast. Was that two counter breakers in that game? <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah, right. like, that was crazy. Letalis <laughs> started it, right? It's, it's yeah. Letalis' fault. Letalis yeah. did the first counter breaker and said, okay, since we're doing that stuff, all right, then I'm going to hit you with one. And then yeah. things just started exploding at that point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they definitely got warmed up. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and nothing to, to – and not to shrug at Letalis, right? It takes a lot to cause a player of Chronicles caliber to hesitate or to make mistakes, right? Like, they got the, the double light confirmed, and they, and they got the double light opener but they didn't get the arm off of it right so you know Latalis is definitely like making Chronicle sweat with this yeah oh for sure for sure yeah everyone's sweating here right now I can tell. Yeah, good interrupt yeah what a DP yeah, oh, that crouching know, like... medium kick so hard to deal with look the pussy god button right and I, and I like Latalis is not you know being discouraged here even when the interrupts are getting disturbed because Arya is one of those characters where you have to be extremely patient. She's gonna do it, right? She has everything she needs to do. So you have to be willing to wait like we're seeing right now and be oh. ready when the opportunity presents itself. Letalis, understanding the assignment, gets rid of Boost Body immediately. And that's where you saw, right? That's, or not Boost Body, sorry. The, uh, like, I'm losing track here. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was, that was Booster. Okay, okay, okay. All the extra gear. <laughs> yeah, I know. 
<laughs> they all start with beats. Boost, blade, base. So yeah. it's like, right, 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 right. easy to lose track. <laughs> yeah. We got a hard knockdown. Oh, wow, just catches him. Oh, he gets the juggle. Alright, anybody's game here. Instant going to table for Chronicle, trying to build up that stack, build up the, uh, the chip damage. Good. Punish. Oh, wow. Nice conversion. Definitely didn't want that standing heavy kick. I'm pretty sure. But still got the cash out. Ooh, try to catch the jump there. Oh, oh my goodness. Goodness. just do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh no. just do it, bro. He was ready for it this time. Oh, this is bad. He's going to cash this out. Oh, he didn't. Not yet. Oh, oh my no. Gosh. What an exchange. Oh, my God. He's really trying to read. <laughs> So many counter breakers from Kron. That's like three yeah. with ones. But I understand it though, right? Because you cannot allow the opponent to discourage you from going for your better options, right? Yeah. Like right there, because you know, like that's when things start to get a little dangerous. And Chronicle coming away with the victory here, finishing things out. A true Arya main at this point. I don't channel points looking, chat. <laughs> I feel very powerful, and that's why you like to use the. That's why it's so much fun. Um, to use these characters, regardless of which character, every single character is fun because they all feel very powerful uh, in their own ways. Um, yeah, and you're going to see that right now, actually, because uh, Saber Wolf, a character who people uh, were real down on for a very, very long time, um, Roman's been doing so much work with for the last oh, few no. years. Oh no, that I can't he... invisible dash DP or <laughs> will anymore. Oh gosh. No Trash zero character. frame DP? Boo. Yeah. Boo. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> oh wow, nice life yep. with the uh with the uh Sako. I haven't seen him play Sako in forever. Uh normally a uh um Agonos main and more recently Jago, but let's see what he can do here. Oh, yeah, you got to be careful with that. That's pretty much uh, Wolf's bread and butter, right? Get the knockdown, set up that charge, heavy punch to get the plus frames. You got to be careful because they can change up the timing too, right? So in most cases, it's kind of better to just kind of take it and block because as you can see right here, if you try to challenge at the wrong time, you're going to get a lot. Oh, here we go. We nice, get the yeah. yeah, he had to backdash that because uh, uh, Roman got the full charge, which is uncarryable. Uh, unblockables are not par generally parryable in this game. Oh wow, just gets a leaping slash. And now it's huge damage off this lockout. This is real nasty. I mean, oh, just wakes up with shadow influence. <laughs> All right, nice slash, trying to get something going here. Trying to get some plus frames, no dice. And whoa, our first ultimate of the evening, folks. Relax, Roman, oh my God. <laughs> Wants to drive it home. Said switch characters right now. <laughs> oh my goodness, folks! And just to let you know, you can only get those if you are in the green. So that is a huge statement there for Roman. Immediately leading with the ultimate. We get remember, folks. It's it's only gonna get crazier from here. It's only gonna get crazier from here. Every single match has been absolutely insane. Yeah, for sure. It's. This is such a perfect bracket. I'm not gonna lie. I like. I saw all the characters in this. I was like, oh, this is gonna be a hell of a day. I love this. <laughs> forget the, forget the chocolates and the the eggs. I'm I'm here for this. <laughs> yeah, you know that's what I'm looking at. That's what I want. That's what I want in my Easter basket. Mm -hmm. I want a little agonos in there. <laughs> you know, right? <laughs> all right. Let's see. Uh, let's see if Night Slash uh, switches it up with the characters. Oh wow, he doesn't. Okay, so he's gonna stick it out. Let's see what adjustments get made here. It's be interesting because I mean, uh, I feel like it's a fairly even matchup because Wolf's got crazy mobility, even though he doesn't have you know any zoning tools really aside from normals. Um, but he can mix it up and make Hisako really uh, struggle on defense. But then again, Hisako can do the same thing, uh, especially with with uh, full influence, full wrath. I mean. Oh, good patience there on the counter break. Yeah, the oh, fight. oh my god, the yeah, reverse. It's, it's your own medicine. Do some nice damage. Those are damage ender. No setup here, just meaties him. Yeah, those records are not safe. Yeah, and Rump playing very confident right now, right? You know, definitely taking a lot of liberties. Oh my gosh, what a catch. Oh. 
another wake up shadow to beat out the uh, charged up heavy punch. Pack leader, as it were. Oh, try to go for a mix up there. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. From downtown. He slashed, taking the first round. Nicely done. So that's the adjustment. He's going to play the breaker game a bit more, it looks like. Oh, wow. Oh, now here we go. It looks like the tables have turned here. Nice slash starting to feel it. Yeah, this is this is difficult for Wolf now. Oh, yeah, he's just going to get clapped out of it. Oh, yeah, I didn't think he was going to break. Roman has a habit of breaking heavies a lot, and it's pretty well known. So a lot of people like end up breaking him on heavy or counter breaking him on heavies and stuff like that. So there's this whole like personalized mind game with <laughs> people that know him. Yeah, just had to see if they were going to do it, right? Which is why mm -hmm. I can see why Night Slash wouldn't have opted for the counter break there. Good yeah. confirm it to the shadow. Uh oh. Yeah, this is going to be brutal. She's going to build up Wrath. Oh, wow, just getting hit. <laughs> oh, nice block. Oh, yeah. Oh. This is where it gets dangerous, right? Those cancels. Got to be careful. Those Feral yeah. cancels. Yeah, Roman be doing that a lot recently. He likes to do uh, the st he does button run cancel and then he feral cancels it because it looks like it's the startup of uh, leaping slash. So people stand up. Oh, and that's going to. Oh no, I thought that was going to kill. Oh, that's not a grab. And yeah. you know, I was asking myself like, are they going to grab? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about myself too, but I didn't want to say anything because I could have been wrong. <laughs> oh no, breaks here. Oh no, the mix is coming through. Yeah. Oh, nice block again. Get the punish. That is going to be the game. One of Hisako's, I think that's Hisako's only light confirm. I'm pretty sure light light. We're going to get it. Are we going to oh, uh, go for the whole them. thing? Ah, I thought they were going to go for the uh, the real <laughs> ender. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, here we go, folks. Is again, every match crazier than the last. <laughs> Got a Getting little, uh, to it immediately. Yeah, served up some some humble pie himself and said, "How's it taste? Oh, Not very yeah, good, definitely. huh?" Uh huh. Hitting him with a taste <laughs> of their own medicine. Nice slash. Showing us what's up. You know, we were thinking now. Okay, you might want to switch there. No, nice slash says, "I got this." Oh, oh yeah, he's gonna dude. give it to him now. Let's go. Oh my beer, man. I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He said, let me lean forward real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and it's, it's a good fun, everybody. You know, we're definitely, you know, we're competitors at the end of the day, right? So, you know, just, you know, again, just letting, letting it be known, right? We ain't no slouch. You're not going to just bully me. And Roman's definitely out to do that, right? You saw, like you said, right? A lot of those run cancels, the dash mix-ups, going for big reads, right? With the uh, the the DPs and the the run slashes, right? The the run uh, crouching fierce, I think that yeah. was when he caught him earlier. Yeah, so you know, good stuff there for both players because that easily could have been anybody's game. Yeah, for sure. Uh, both these characters can steamroll, but yeah, that was that was pretty close coming down to the wire. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, let's see yeah, if the, you know. there's adjustments on upon the adjustments. Somewhere, Ida Master is uh, sitting, uh, sitting around, just chilling uh, with a smile on her face, right? You know, <laughs> one of the uh, OG BMers, right? So. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. All right, here oh, wow. we go. Roman making adjustments of their own here. Mm -hmm. yeah, he was working on a perfect for a second there. Yeah, for sure. But, uh, oh nice no. Slash. Yeah, that back heavy kick is uh, it's not safe. But Roman not quite ready for it. Who's, uh, who's honestly ready for that in, in neutral? Oh wow! Ooh, he dashes up into into the shadow. I assume it was shadow uh, influence again. Yeah, and that was good reactions there from Roman with the check. Oh, now we're gonna run up on you. Let's see how, how you deal. Oh, here, there it is—the heavy breaker. The <laughs> heavy. <laughs> but that's the mind game. You know that I know that you know I like the break though, so I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> yeah. And you know what that reminds me of? Nikki, right? Because yeah. Nikki used to do that a lot. Nikki would break almost every combo and would dare you to go for the counter, right? And the one time you try it, nope. Yep, you get smoked. And it's like, yeah. oh my god, how do you know? Oh, the back dash again into overpower. That's going to actually be even easier to do because uh, influence recovery is getting nerfed ever so slightly. Oh, gets the recap. Oh no, that was... Wow, he was still in. Oh, he did the. Oh! 
<laughs> he can actually carry I like that. Oh Whoa. my gosh. I didn't realize he could carry it. <laughs> yo. Wait. Funny. Oh my gosh, yo. Yeah, these so matches are, in, yo, these matches are, oh my gosh. Roman dropping the BM back by doing the, the fakey ultra. <laughs> the little, Listen, the little hope... bunny hop. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I hope everybody has been having as much of a fun time watching this as we have been having a bunch of a fun time casting this for you. And that is such a good time right now, right? So remember, folks, it is the first three set. And it has been going back and forth. All of, you know, been going back and forth in this case, right? Because yeah. we've been getting a lot of conventional matchups, right? Uh, zoner versus Rushdown, Zoner versus Grappler. And now we're kind of getting, you know, Rushdown versus Rushdown. But, like, two sides of the same coin. Rush, you know, the traditional Rushdown, right? High, low, grab mix up versus the Grappler Rushdown, right? Exactly. Which is uh, in that case. So it's been literally coming down to whoever gets started first. And as you can see, when Roman gets their stuff going first, Roman seems to you know come out with the victory and as with you saw earlier night slash when they got started they're the ones that came away with it so we're gonna see what happens here night slash know, sticking it out all the way with uh with the sako i respect it yeah definitely uh some killer instinct gaming going on right now i hope you folks have been having a great time much love to Tampa Never Sleeps for, uh, you know, giving us the space to to showcase one of the uh, greatest fighting games of all time, and I will stand on that. Absolutely. No question. Oh, just sweep in his face. Nice meaty on the crouching heavy punch, or uh, medium punch. Gets the lockout. Wall splat. Influence to build wrath. I'm a huge fan of this track, too. Oh, yeah. This is a great track. So many bangers, though. It's, it's hard to pick for just one. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh my god, so many dash forwards from Night Slash, but, you know, Roman gonna be checking that, especially now. Oh. Nice whip punish. It's the punish. Yeah, as you can see there, you know, Roman not afraid to let it rip, right? You know, definitely yeah. is gonna test you to see just what you're willing to let rock. Ooh. And Roman, again, committing to the breaker, gets counter broken. She's gonna get her wrath back, not like she needs it. Oh Ooh, god, did it again! Yeah. Too many dash ups into. I think he's reading like back dashes. That's gonna be a very nice. Yeah. Oh, immediate break. But now Hasako's in uh, instinct, so she definitely wants to make use of this. Nice. Oh, oh god! That, that was OD. Yeah. That was OD. They were both baiting each other. That's godlike. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're two sides of the same coin. Like, they're yep. just basically taking turns beating each other up. You know, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, incredible uh, awareness from Roman there. He knew that there was a parry was going to be coming out. So, Carol canceled that. And now he's got him in the corner. Yeah, oh, my God. Just, yeah, now they're just, just cranking it out, not even charging it, right? Because they know Night Slash wants to get out. And yep. Nice is going to have to respect that at this point because the adjustment's being made. Oh, and another adjustment there. Nice Slash. Yeah, we're almost trying to, to hold it there to fake him out to try and get him to parry early, but it did not fight. Another. Yeah. Gonna be a trade of instinct here. Nice Slash oh. is going to have instinct available. However, Roman about to have Woo. instinct soon. Never mind, counter breaker. And that's going to tie up the games now. It's two to two in this set. Wow, Night Slash. Yeah, I'm showing he's got the stuff. All that, all that SF6 he's been uh, playing has, has been helping out, and uh, it hasn't dulled his skills in, in KI at all, it turns out. <laughs> at all. I'm glad I ain't putting no channel points up for this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who to put it you on know? here either. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, All right, two. folks. We're not going to see... I'm, I'm positive we're not going to see a, a, a change up from Roman as far as character gets go. He's definitely uh, all about the wolf. Although he is working on some pockets, but uh, I don't think he feels confident in those yet. Yeah, you know, and, and it's all about what you're comfortable with at the end of the day. You know, a mm -hmm. lot of people, they have counter picks in this, at this point. You know, I'm pretty sure it's safe to assume that just about all of our high level players here, all of our competitive players, let me say that, have at least what three characters in in the in the roster in the repertoire. So 
but it, it's all about what you can perform at that level what you can consistently like get out there so exactly. you know, i definitely can appreciate both of these players for sticking it out right because this is what is working like and they know it and it's just a matter again of like getting that right read mm -hmm. oh and speaking of right reads we're uh making all the wrong reads on defense here getting absolutely opened up in this corner it's real hard for him now huge life lead for roman yeah, and Roman just chilling. He he knows there's an instant pop coming, and he's kind of wants to force Night Slash to make a mistake like that. Yeah, but Roman got to be careful too because a mistake on their end is going to look a little bit like this, and now things are starting to get a bit ugly. Exactly. Now you're in the blender. Whoa! Just gets hit. Assumes that the command grab's coming. Oh my god! No. Oh my gosh! Oh no! Oh my gosh. Oh, no. Oh, tried it again. Wanted the revenge. That's gonna do it for the round. And I can kind of understand that, right? Because Roman has been breaking all set. So to try to go for the early counter breaker this time, definitely uh, makes sense there in that case. Yeah, oh, for sure. Oh, try to parry the jump in, but Roman with the bait. Oh, but it worked that time. No, they're gonna be patient this time. Oh, oh nice. My gosh! Yeah, I can't do that to Hisako. Even if she tries to push a button, she can still uh, cancel out of that. Yeah, utilizing the uh, wrap there. Uh, no! Well, sometimes this happens. We're begging you. <laughs> yeah, limit. There was like limits. It was like, bro. <laughs> okay, so we got, oh yeah, Wheels going with Eagle. Okay, this would be interesting. This is a, traditionally a rough matchup for Eagle, um, but there have been some changes with Eagle. So we'll see if that like helps him out in any way. Yep. And, uh, you know, Eagle, like, these are two characters that essentially were just, like, getting on everyone's nerves for a time, right? You know, yeah. Rash definitely was just running riot, running, you know, like, just, it, it, depending on who you ask, he's kind of just doing what he wants, right? Yeah. And Eagle, the same thing, right? You know, and, of course, you had some folks that would tell you otherwise, you know, shout out to the Minty doing his homework. Right? You know? Yep. Uh, but, you know, it, it was hard, right? It was very difficult. So, Alex B., Doing a great job of just keeping wheels contained. Yeah, you really got to take advantage of Eagle's lack of uh, any real reversal. Um, mm -hmm. Bird Bomb is not a real reversal. You can medium out of it. Um, you can jump over it. You can do a bunch of... Uh, there's a bunch of things you can do to get rid of his defensive options, essentially. Ooh. Ooh. The feet. Nice oh, counter breaker. Recognize that the two-hit medium was easy break point. And Alex is definitely going to go for that. Now, nearly uh, evened up in life. That's... Oh, wow. I thought for sure he was actually going to hit him off the bike, but still get the combo on him. The wheels there to go immediately to the shout slide, knowing that Alex B wanted to bust out there. Exactly. He definitely didn't want to hold anything, especially with Instinct. It's in Rash's best interest to not. Oh, jump ta down tongue. So difficult. Right, he's got some more corner pressure. The overhead. Ugh. This is so hard. Oh, no break. Heavy. Yeah, this is super difficult. Any confirm is gonna do it. Oh, nice side switch there, confirming up with the bird. And his little helper there, just chilling out. Exactly. Oh wow, nice break. Surprised he went for that or had the awareness for it. Oh, run up. The run up gets Shadow God. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh my gosh, what a grab. Chip out? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Unfortunate. Yeah, he had that, almost had the combo if he got that and got the knockdown ender in the corner. That would have been actually really difficult for Alex V to defend against. He didn't have much life to deal with it. Um, but yeah, that that uh, that overhead, that jumping down arrow, that's such a classic. That's the wheels classic. He likes to prime that arrow, start charging it on the ground, and then he jumps. And that way, the startup of the arrow, like, being pulled back is already taking place and you can just let it go almost instantly as he jumps which is real nasty dirty yeah. stuff you know just those intricacies that make uh this game really shine right mm -hmm. so, a lot of technical uh, details yeah absolutely and that's the thing about this game and that's the reason why the community still is going strong because killer is a is one of the that allows for that creative freedom and if you're I'm in, you can definitely uh, find some crazy stuff with this crazy character. Yeah, exactly. One of the nice parts about uh, the game not being so heavily explored as some other games is that there's so much left to find. 
you keep hearing a lot of uh, talk about emergent gameplay and stuff like that. This game has so much of that, it's crazy. But right now, we're just seeing uh, uh, Wheels try to get some pressure going. He's got a little bit down on the life. Oh my god! Back medium punch for the anti-air. That's, that's wild. Anybody's game right now. Eagle with the instinct first. Wow. Just gets hit with that jumping tongue again. Such a hard tool to deal with. Yeah, and he eats projectiles too, so you know, we gotta be careful with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if he eats uh, any of Eagle's arrows, they are gone, gone. Um, for the game, so. You know, for the game, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah, caught him pushing a button. Mm -hmm. Oh no, what? the car was still out, that's crazy. I thought it already hit. Maybe I'm tripping. Um, <laughs> ah, I think it did too, but you know, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna let that go. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there's a bug there where the car sticks to him, um, but oh, we're not gonna talk about that. Anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, Wheels is recording now. Characters, crazier situations right now. Exactly. It is a showdown in Little China Folk. Yeah, this is rough. No, no real good at defensive options, but gets a, uh, a check and straighten the shadow there. So he gets the life bar. Maybe he can uh, run a vortex and get this evened up, but it's gonna be hard because eventually Rash is gonna get instinct and that's where it gets real nasty. Ooh, nice air to air. Yeah, he was getting tired of Alex just kind of coming around on him, right? And yeah. It's such a tough situation because like you saw there, at any moment, you know, Rash can go for a mix up. So Eagle's sniffing that out. Yep. Oh, wow. And that's good on wheels to use the delay wake up too, to uh, sniff out the layer one of the open, right? Not letting them get those big meaty buttons, and just, you know, staying out of the way of that overhead. Exactly. Oh, the shimmy, but he didn't get a, he didn't hit a button in time. Oh, wow, and gets confirmed into ultra. Yeah, that was difficult. Uh, an opportunity to lost, but still, that's 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 real tough to, to be in so many scramble situations and, and still get like a perfect confirm and have that awareness. <laughs> so. So we'll see if Wheels uh, decides to switch it up, change the character. I know that he's got a special uh, controller layout for Eagle, so we shall see. It looks like he's going to stick it out with Eagle, just based on him not uh, unreadying up. All right. Sticking it out with Eagle here. You know, Rash is, again, you know, is, is another one of those characters that pretty much the character that has been Picks up damage, even a little bit of zoning right with the Battle Maniac, so. Mm hmm Yeah, he's got decent zoning tools, especially with, like you said, Battle Maniacs and Standing Heavy Kick was a great zoning tool. Oh, wow, he's gonna get the recap. This is gonna be some very significant damage. 45% meterless. Boot juggles are no joke. Gets a throw back into the corner, and we are back in the... Oh uh, my gosh, ooh. they broke that? Wow. Yeah, nice. It's <laughs> <That's> insane. <laughs> oh, yep, yeah, can't do that. Santa's a little helper. Keep yep. an eye on you. Get a nice hard knockdown here, and the mix begins. See if he can stay on him. Oh. Just jumps out. Oh, oh my god. Try to read a grab there, gets kicked in the face instead. Oh no! <laughs> the classic, the the ender cancel from the bike. Very nice. <laughs> Just kind of jumping at him, trying to, I guess, uh, catch him pushing a button on the ground. Yeah, you see some hesitations there from Will uh, as well, right? They got the jump in, but wasn't able to convert off of that. Yeah. So, you know, not even entirely sure what the defensive read is at that point because Alex is just all over the place. Mm hmm. Ooh, Ooh nice catch. meaty. Oh, wow. Ooh, good lockout. Oh, yeah, just wakes up with boot. <laughs> all right. Some resources here for both players. Oh, Neil's doing a, a great job up. of arrow management. Ooh, good interrupt there with the check. Yeah, for sure. Oh! There it is. Yeah. Talk about keep deep as a read and it's looking like Wheels is getting it, but wasn't able to finish the combo in time. Yeah, I'm actually surprised he could break there. It looked like he still had a second left on the lockout timer, but 
I want to say it was the recovery of Evil's Heavy, right? Like, oh, yeah. Going, so. uh, is that going to kill? Oh, so close. This is going to chip, though. Eagle! Where's your damage, buddy? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, this, this is a little scary, actually. And that's so unfortunate, right? Because Wheels pretty much did what they were supposed oh, to do. No, he's but dead. not in that case. And that is so oh. unfortunate. Look at the flashes. That's brutal. Oh my god. By the <laughs> skin of their teeth. He's putting in a lot of work. Devil May Care, you know, almost a one man army with the things that he's been doing for a team, right? So, you know, it's very, definitely great to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the love. So, we got Roman coming in against uh, he's Wolf against. Arya, of course. Um, don't think we're gonna see anything else in this matchup. Ooh, nice confirm. It's a little bit trickier to mix Wolf with Float because you gotta be wary of the down up uh, oh, yeah. Eclipse. Oh yeah. Yeah, that has a moon hitbox, right? So mm -hmm. you can't really cross him up in that case. Yeah, he has to stay higher up. You see how he's floating up uh, higher up? It's because... Oh, oh wow, I can't believe he got over that, actually. That's incredible, because that's also a recapture. That would have been brutal for Chronicle. But now oh my guys... gosh, they tried to delay it a little bit, got locked out as a result. That's going to be big, big damage. Yeah, it's going to be rough. Now pressure in the corner for days. Empty, jump, low. Classic Aria staple, because he got that float. So it's basically a high-low mix. Oh, speaking of which. Oh my goodness, they said no. It is still <laughs> not your turn. Oh, good patience from Roman. And this is Roman's chance, right? Because this is incredibly difficult for Wolf otherwise. They have to eat a lot yeah, to get sure. to that point. So, you know, Roman is going to have to take advantage of any opportunity that they can create for themselves. Dashes out of the out of the uh, setup there. Okay, now we got Arya's instinct. This is going to be a lot of pressure, I assume. She only got one assist, but... Oh, wow! That was a weird little uh, jump. She had her position first. Oh, oh wow. good bait there. It's kind of understandable, right? Because you haven't done it the whole time. So you gotta check. Oh, yeah, it gets Shadow Hunter. Yep. Oh, wow. Unnecessary manual, but, you know, it was hard to tell if it was gonna go straight yeah, into yeah, I, danger I, I, or I not. Yeah, I kind of understand. Like, you know, maybe just like, eh, I'm not sure. Yeah, you don't wanna accidentally manual. do an open render, you know? <laughs> yeah, right. And it was a manual, right? So it was still a difficult situation to even break in the first place, right? Kind of for a sure. checkmate, guess for game situation. So, yep. Very much understandable. But very strong showing, you know, not as bad showing from Roman as well, right? Because they were definitely making some, some headway there and getting some real estate for themselves. It's just, again, Chronicle has been in these situations so many times that, that he's always going to have some sort of an answer. And Chronicle is aggressive as well, you know. It yeah. looks like he's taking his time and just kind of staying out the way, but not really because he's active. Yeah. You know, that's the word that comes to mind when it comes to Chronicle. He's a very active player. So for a player like Roman who wants to take their turn and wants to get the party started early, it's going to be difficult in this case because, as you see here, Chronicle is always on the move. Yeah, he's always staying active, like you said, and he's he's trying to force situations that are a little scrambly so that you don't get optimal punishes, you don't get optimal damage, and you're just kind of, like, always on the back foot. But let's see if Roman can step it up. Oh, he gets a nice confirm, and this is going to be good for him. If he can get rid of this body without much trouble, um, this is a great look. Yeah, and try to get in there with the, uh, with the recapture. So yeah. Good. I'm liking oh. the ideas from Roman, right? And that was a bad call, but overall, you know, Roman has been definitely trying some some unique options to try to get things going. But again, Chronicle having an answer, you know, so it's gonna yeah. be uh, tough here. We're gonna go with the base body for some zoning. Nice. Yeah, he did that uh, that Allegro too close. It is mad punishable, and that's huge damage. Was that like 80, 90 percent? Jeez. So this is pretty much even now. <laughs> Understandably so, right? Mm -hmm. Chill out, you know. I know you got your hit off, you know, you got, you got that going, but relax. Yeah, yeah exactly. Ooh, when he loses base body, it's not the worst thing in the world. He's probably playing for instinct. Um, he needs these two bodies for instinct if he can save them. Yeah, especially the boost body, right? Because that's yeah. the one it's got. Uh, this stuff there, Chronicle getting the opener, trying to get things going, manages to get him to break out, to uh, lock out. 
Oh, wow. Oh. From downtown with the dumbest. <laughs> He's on fire. Yeah, I kind of ran into that one, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oh, presses the low. Nice. Let's see. He's got very little health to work with, and we're going to have sword body instinct at some point. So he's basically got to try and kill Arya without giving her instinct. Which yeah, is totally doable. Tough. But yeah, it is hard. Especially with how godlike Kron's breaks are. <laughs> so. Yeah. Already about to have a full bar. You yeah. Know? Oh, yeah. Guess is on the. Uh, Roman likes to uh, try and interrupt plus frame. Uh, or frame traps with with eclipse of course it's a four frame special it'll be pretty much everything um but yeah good good patience from kron knew that he wanted to go for it and that's gonna be two up for kron so far in the set it's gonna be rough for roman to bring it all the way back with wolf yeah you know and uh and again you know roman it gets so close and that's where it gets really tough right because you have like it's just literally comes down to like a couple key decisions that 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 make things kind of unravel right because roman is getting rid of bodies they're capitalizing they're optimizing their damage right it's just again you know it comes down to those final moments right they went for a big read there with the dp and it didn't work out and had they just been just a little bit more patient they could have possibly gotten that game there but you know it's it's one of those moments where it's like I don't know what I'm doing wrong, you know? Like, yeah. I'm not entirely sure what, what else I can do. So, Roman's gonna have to dig deep here. Yeah, it's hard. A lot of it's just like, blocking the mix-up right, which is uh, quite a challenge with this character. So, we'll see if he gets uh, some opportunities. But right now, it's looking a little bit rough. He's in the corner, locked out against Arya. He's got the shadow for some extended damage and the hard knockdown. Yeah, Roman's scrambling to get out, it looks like. He's got instinct. Uh... Ooh. Yeah, Feral cancel. Yeah, and that was good stuff there. Using the reversal to uh, get out of the assist mix up there. And then mm -hmm. canceling it to stay safe. Okay, we might have something here. Nice. That's going to be the body, right? Uh, close. Okay, yes. Whew. Okay, so signs of life. Yeah, for sure. And a chance of another instinct as well. So if they can let, if they can let Lee's get this body to half, they're going to be in a really good spot here. Yeah, this is going to be DP. Yeah. Base body action. Oh, nice that confirm. was a tricky situation. However, Roman standing. Ooh. Oh no, that's so unfortunate. Just a slight mistiming. Mm -hmm. Oh, the my dash dude gets checked. Wow, yeah, what a wow. Call out. Oh, the Kron is so god. Like that back dash to, to Shimmy, dude just knows what you want to do. Like. He knew he, getting that throw on him, he was going to be antsy for a throw, and this is going to be the game. Oh, no, so close. Get the throw. Oh, wow, that did kill. Arya's throw is notoriously low damage uh, as far as, like, actual damage goes. But, yeah, that'll, that's enough there. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. So we got uh, we got the Jago versus Glacius. So Alex saying, oh, my God, right away. Here we Gee, go. I couldn't even finish my sentence. Okay, so we got a counter breaker. Uh, Alex is not fooling around. Three All I need is like the retro Jago track, and I'd be happy, right? Because this is <laughs> pretty much AI at its most, at its finest, at its most. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Trying oh. to bait that DP. Very nice. Ooh, okay. Good movement. Good movement. Yeah, this is gonna be an interesting match. Nate, godlike. He. Oh, oh God, yeah. Trying to catch those limbs with the DP. Yep. But. Oh, yeah, that's gonna punish. They're both gonna punish each other for it. Is this gonna be a shadow? Yes, it is. Okay, let's see if we can get something started here. We know what he's, we already know what he's gonna get, right? He's gonna get that well, health yeah. back. Instinct is still on the table, so uh, we're gonna see uh, Crazy Skate Nate here. Maybe try to go for a read, but never mind. Mm -hmm. I'll be doing the right combo there. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, just catches the forward. Uh... And you saw the DP punch. there, you know, Nate is hunting for those buttons because they know now that Alex B is willing to throw those out. You know, shades of Dawson, right? Because that's kind of the, the thing there is that those limbs do have hurt boxes as much as hit boxes. Exactly. And Jago's DP does crazy damage now, especially on counter hits, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> much to people's detriment, right? Like, what? Yo, what yeah. is this? <laughs> <laughs> At first I was like, eh. Yeah, but now I'm definitely warming up to it, not gonna lie. Oh, All right, you know? Yeah, this is gonna be rough. He needs a, a, an incredible instinct pop here to get a lot of health back. 
He's got the meter for it, so we'll see if he can get something going. That can be a... Oh, nice. Just go straight into the shadows, get some health back. Nice block. Kind of seeing a bit of a uh, discomfort, even right, for Nate because he's been playing all this whole time, but mm -hmm. it looks like he's starting to like get a feel for it now. Yeah. Yeah. When you play so many characters so godlike, it's a uh, uh, you know it's one of those yeah. issues where if you keep jumping around, it might actually be to your detriment. Yeah. You know the wires get crossed a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. like, oh, wait, it's not that character. Yeah. Ooh, this is gonna be really difficult now. Yeah. I was gonna say he's gonna either go for chip at some point, build a little meter for it, or just like wait and uh, shadow shatter. Yeah. Now Nate, listen, you don't have to listen to me, okay? I am just a commentator at this at this point. Do what feels best to you. But I think you need to bring out the shadow Jago, man. I'm just saying. I don't know. <laughs> I, hey, hey, hey. Do it for the people at least. You know, you never know. But hey. Oh, let's go! Whoa, hey. let's go! Yes, nice, nice call. Yes. I, I'm not surprised, to be honest. This, oh, oh god! Oh, here we go. We're already go. getting funky. <laughs> nice. All right, so let's see. Yep, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is the this is the Twitter video right now. This yeah. is the, the the Twitter stuff. Yeah, because <laughs> already. <laughs> Uh, listen, this is what I wanted. I'm not gonna hold you. This is what I wanted to see. I wanted to see the, the nonsense, the, the madness. Yeah. <laughs> but I already um, used my get out of jail free card, so I gotta, I gotta remain neutral here. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we're definitely gonna be seeing some armor. madness. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely yeah. see this. Oh, okay, so get the mix up. Woo! Get that combo off the hill on um, the DP, one of the crappiest DPs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not salty. I'm not at all. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, you can get good. the recap. You can death, right? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Not a lot of meter, however, though. However, instinct is on the way. Mm -hmm. Ooh, good opener there. Uh oh. I'll catch this out. I'm guessing too much. She's raw sweeping neutral. <laughs> wow, he still got the combo on that. Gosh, here we go. Oh, oh we're gonna see it. Yep. Oh, oh he yeah. broke it. He knows. Oh, he knows. Alex, <laughs> you hater. Uh, <laughs> I wanted it. I wanted it. I got. I, all right, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> all right, fair enough. Alex B shutting down the crowd. Yeah. Boo. Boo. <laughs> boo. <laughs> boo. <laughs> no style points for. for yeah, you. yeah. <laughs> All good though. Alex B having some meter to play with here. Gotta be careful. Yeah, Nate's also got a bunch of meter to play with. So we're gonna yeah. see some surges, try and keep him out. Ooh, nice break. That was risky. Could have done a huge amount of damage with two meter. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Meaty there with the uh, stand roundhouse. It's gonna be a difficult situation. Yeah, he's gotta try and break that, obviously. Yeah, and honestly, Nate not even worried about it, right? Because they still yeah. have the advantage. This is actually one of the low-key stronger sides of Shadow Jago is his zoning because of the air, the angles he can take with the air fireballs. Yes, for game. Wow, I'm surprised he went for a jump after that. This is brutal. Yeah. No. Oh yeah. my gosh. So one of the things that Shago struggles with is damage. So, uh, yeah, as you can see there, it was a little bit easier to take that damage off of Shago's health and. Nate had trouble finally closing it out with that little, what, he had like 3% left, but we'll see if he can, uh, it was a much better, a much closer game, so uh, I agree with the pick, and we'll see if he can just bring it all the way back with Shadow. Oh my god, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't know what the hell I'm talking character. about. Yeah. The OG character, okay. Again, folks, Nate plays like eight different characters. That is yeah. not an exaggeration. You're already seeing the Rolodex at this point. So curious to see how this goes. Now, Orchid's strongest point is her neutral game, right? So definitely going to be looking to catch those big buttons, but she does tend to struggle when it comes to zoner. So we're going to see how things go. I'll just be taking their time, right? Using the sweep, not putting out anything crazy. Yeah. Ooh, guesses. Wrong yeah. guess, though. All right, gets the guess back. Yeah, he's going to run right through that. Cat. Here, trying to get something started. Woo. Tries to get out of the way here. And 
now it's time to party. This is where Orcus shines, those grenade mix-ups. Try to get a meaty with a stand medium punch. Oh, blocks it out, but blocks it out again. Nice patience. Oh, what side was that on? Oh I know. Gosh. Nate's got some, he's been developing some nasty mixes. He does a, uh, a jump now with the whiffed uh, throw. You cannot tell what side that cat comes out on. It's so crazy. Yeah, he's got some nasty stuff with Arkansas. He's got another, yeah, he's got a chance at another one too, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, using that shadow cat to get in there. Understandably so, right there. You do not want to give Glacius that space to maneuver. Oh, sniffs out the puddle. Glacius corner game, so scary. Yeah, for sure. And it's so scrambly at the moment, right? Because. Oh, good oh. instant cancel. Yeah, oh, that my was. Gosh, caught him. Oh, just yeah, no one they had the armor, right? Mm hmm. Oh, Ooh. gets caught with the overhead. Now it's being looking to uh, be patient. The armor saved him. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't get a reverse DP there. Nate's so godlike with those uh, reverse DPs. But not this time. Alex is going to take it. Goes through three of the characters. It's basically like professional, like pro tour for Killer Instinct. And we had that for quite some time. So there's just so much story to all the different accomplishments that so many people in the community have contributed to. Like, there's no one single person that, you know, that is uh, put on. That, uh, for sure, for sure. Now we got uh, went into Hologram versus Duel. This would be a crazy match. These two players know each other pretty well because uh, both of them were Hollywood boys back in the day. Um, so they played each other quite a bit. Alright, so, you know, Duel, of course, doing what he duels best. <laughs> Just, uh, you know, plain lane game, right? This is the stuff that everybody loves to hate. Oh my gosh, yep. they're just Ooh. spamming all day. Well, listen, when you finally see Thunder get a hit, you'll understand. <laughs> you know? Yeah, <laughs> especially against Conrad. Of all the, of all the characters, uh, Khan does have some issues in this matchup when he gets put on his back. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and it gets real nasty for him real quick. So, like, yeah, right about here is a little scary. Even though he's got a huge life lead, he's got to essentially take a risk on Sans Float, and that's what uh, Hologram is waiting for here. Yeah. And there it Hologram, is. Hologram uh, trying to keep it simple, right, with just using the, uh, the board heavy punch, that overhead, oh. trying to catch Duel for doing something unsafe. And they did hit him early when they jumped, right? But mm -hmm. maybe might want to start going for, for some mix-ups there because Duel is clearly showing that he's going to sit there. Right. You know, maybe doing something to make him panic a little bit. You know, just make him, make him sweat a little bit. Oh, here we go, right? And I just had to say something. I just had to open my big fat mouth. Commentator's curse. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, let's see how he deals with the instinct. They're both in instinct. I think. Oh, no. oh my God, that was too. It was <laughs> just too far. Yeah. <laughs> and they went immediately right back in. Like, nah, get over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were both. They were both like content to waste each other's instinct there. That's so funny. Very rarely know, do you right? see that kind of sit down, or that stare down when both have instinct. But yeah, we got a lot of the zoning. Just huge pressure. But here we go again. Yeah, he's got a. Oh wow, just guesses on the uh, the Shadow Angle Slicer. Nice reaction yeah, in here. This is, this is what you want as the Conrad player, right? Yeah. That frustration. That you got panic. the pit out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just daring them to do something, anything at this point. Exactly. I mean, he has to do something. Out. Yeah, this is this is really nasty. 30 seconds left on the clock, and uh, Duel is completely content shipping him out. Yeah, because the pit doesn't go away. As long as Conrad doesn't use it for his own purposes, the pit mm -hmm. just stays there. Oh, wait a minute. Took a chance. No meter okay. to counter. Yeah, now he's got the uh, the chip. But I don't believe the pit is dead because I think you actually have to get a hit. I don't think chip kills count. Yeah, that's a good question, actually. That's a good thing to count. I forgot. Oh, oh and the reach. Uh oh. Ooh, out of there. Yeah, yes, we got that. our answer on that pit. Uh oh. Gosh, this is getting up. Oh no. Oh yeah, this is scary now. Yeah. Oh, oh. no. Yeah, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. <laughs> you have to. Yeah, Ten seconds just... left on the clock. Yep, he's, he's getting antsy. He really wants to get this time, but it's not gonna happen. Wow, we're down to eight seconds again. Duel with the patience. 
but it got mad scary there for a second you know brought his life yeah. pretty much down to halfway of the second bar um that was very much uh that could have gone either way like very easily so yeah, I'm just, honestly i feel like it came down to that heavy break right that's what yeah really saved him i think yeah one of the, that, that break was really really good um and you know he got he, he chose he dual chose the time to sandspold really well in that game and i think that was like one of the key factors he sand he didn't have any bad sand explosions and all the sand explosions worked out and that's like super important you have a bad one and it's a wrap against thunder oh and here we go and again right taking those liberties it's like okay i know you're gonna sit there so let me just go ahead and get on you yeah but dual taking advantage of that as well dual is, is is always prepared, right? He always has a contingency. And that was something that you, he has struggled with for a moment, right? Because when he, he's always been playing Conrad, and when he's allowed to play his game, he was always shiny. But then again, you know, when it came to those defensive reads, you know, there was a point, there was a point where, you know, he would kind of get beat up a little bit, but sticking it out, he's definitely improved in that area by tenfold. So it's good to see that. Good to see the patience. However, there's only so long you can block. Yeah. Ooh, the dash. Yeah, duels defense legendary. Wow, catches the jump, gets the recapture. Need a wall splat. Yeah, bandage him up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then bring him into the scarab, get some chip right. going. Yeah, set yep. up the obstacle course. <laughs> yeah, the, the 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 fun land, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> the, the fun house. <laughs> Smoke and mirrors, sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh my Ooh, goodness. Get the chip, get the out. Nice. Oh, he still got the. Uh, oh, got oh the, good uh, block. Oh my gosh, this is getting ugly. This is why zoning is necessary. Yes. All right. Yeah, for all you Twitter turn around. out there, there's a reason why zoning is as strong as it is. Look at that. You see how big those feet are? Look at that. I got, I got head, shoulders, knees, and toes. And I don't want to deal with none of that. He bought the entire kit. Oh, yeah, he doesn't. And, yeah, uh -oh. not, and, and Duel doesn't want to deal with it either. Yeah, <laughs> He's exactly. Up like, three scarabs on top of it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. That was a crazy read. Nice, Andy okay. here. Oh, and yeah, you gotta get out of there. Oh. Or that super jump, I mean. Oh, my goodness. All right, Hologram's got one more big read here. Yeah, he's gotta make something happen with this instinct, essentially. He's just looking for a spot to pop. He's probably gonna do Bigaw into uh, oh, um, a Oh, the Shadow up. Scarab, yeah. It's just moving on along. Yeah, respect it. And, and it's such a yeah, and that's such a crazy choice, right? Because if you back up, the scarab's gonna hit you. Mm -hmm. If you go forward, the scarab's there. I mean, if you, if you go forward, Ooh. the shadow scarab hits. Oh, Wait a minute. Okay, he doesn't right, have any shadow. Nice ant here. Explode. Oh, yep. there it is. I knew it. I knew yep. it. I knew yep. it. I was just like, yep, get out of here. <laughs> oh my god, it's still scary as hell. Ooh. Nice break. No more instinct. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, we are scrambling. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was getting oh. real scary. Again, uh, Hollow had like only one or two opportunities, and he nearly killed him off of it. So, yo, <laughs> super scary. <gasps> See? So much. All that zoning almost erased <laughs> in exactly. literally five seconds. So yeah, no, relax. It's all part of the plan. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. But yeah, I, I, I still understand. I still know this character a little bit. I was like, yeah, he's gonna, he gonna blow up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, you called that one. Well, I would too. Like, I would get. No, I'm getting the hell out of there. I'm not. Do I'm not doing this. <laughs> you recognize I'm not doing this. You, you recognize the danger. You were like, yeah, oh, I know not, this. I know I'm this not situation. doing this at all. Do do do. But that's that's information, right? So Hologram has been learning as they've been moving along. And this is one of those sets where it's, it's, there's more to the story. Like you can see initially, like it's a 2 0, but it's a hard fought 2 0. So mm -hmm. uh, it really comes down to if Hologram can make those reads on the wake up. Because if they do, we're already seeing it. They went through yep. the tornado. Oh no, here we 
go. Okay. Stand light kick to, to get him off him. Yep, plus frames getting out of there. Pit is available. No, I'm sorry. They used it earlier. Yeah. Just be chilling until that bug goes away. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing to point out is that you can hit the scarabs away. So that is an option that's available. But dual understanding that is throwing out the crouching medium and heavy punches to check hologram for trying to swing at the scarab. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no. Bulls up the shadow Ooh, counter just by chance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just a little too slow, a little too floaty. Taking care of some of those scarabs, but yeah, Thunder's buttons are a significant amount of recovery. So, like you said, he's gonna get checked for him if he does that too often. Oh wow! Oh, yep, gotta get out of there. Man, explode. Does it again? Nice <laughs> react. He's doing it on reaction. You know, oh yeah. Dual reaction, so godlike. He actually oh, punched that. Oh my gosh, that was a wow. Yeah, that was say that's crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Oh no, confirmed. I don't think okay, he gets a break. Oh, yo, if that would have connected. Oh, my gosh. Dual, I don't know if you want to be up that close. Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, like, I, don't, I don't know. You get a little bold there, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nah, yeah, he's just going to oh. bulldog his way in. He's got full instinct. <laughs> he doesn't care. But that was good patience, right? Because Hologram knew that Dual was going to bust out. So they just yeah. kind of waited their turn. Oh wow! Yeah, speaking yeah. of, oh You're not no, a that's gonna be a huge one. If you haven't killed yourself using these, explosions. yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of explosion, he's done it again. Oh wow! Oh, no, oh, he he got a go. input. no, but didn't yeah. get the punish. That is so unfortunate. Yeah, that was brutal. Oh, they made the read. No, you did. You hate to see it. <laughs> you needed that. That was what you were looking for this whole time. Yeah. And now we're forced again, the obstacle course. Mm -hmm. So let's see what the uh, what the play is here for Hollow. Probably just looking for something that gives him time to forward dash or move a little bit. Like that, yeah. So he's waiting for him to put out bugs essentially to, to take his movement options. Yeah, and you know, oh, no, the there. chaotic game clock is very generous. So mm -hmm. it's completely doable to just sit and wait and really wait. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Dua wants to play this lane. He does not want any part of this mix. Oh, nice break. God, Hologram's so godlike, just chilling and being so patient despite like all the, this, this madness on stage. It's really frustrating to deal with as a player. Yeah, less so. than 10 seconds left on the clock. So yeah, Hologram really, really gotta make something to happen. make a decision. Last game here, duel on set point. Oh, he needs to block something so he can get instinct. There it is. Oh, he didn't get enough. This is brutal. This is over. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Damn. So good, though. I like so patient. Oh, a timeout, though. You rarely get to see one of those in KI. <laughs> you need, you gotta you gotta have some mad scientist stuff to come up with to really like open these kind of players up. So. Ooh, you got Banelings on the wolf. He's been speaking highly of this character very recently. He said he wants to try him out more often. So uh, surprised he's picking it in such a huge tournament though. Let's see how he does against Zero. All right, good catch there. Oh wow, just wakes up with a with uh, what should have been just raw clips, but excellent gets the button there. Oh yeah, he's just harassing with uh, overpower. So a hard knockdown gets him in the corner. Set up, just light kick, yep, into uh, the reaction. Oh wow, takes the life bar off that. A little unfamiliarity from Banelings in the matchup, which is to be expected, of course. He's uh, not like a wolf main, or at least hasn't been for many years. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> that's a classic where you try to uh, feral cancel, and you can actually still break the feral cancel. It's a heavy break, essentially. One of the little quirks of the game. Oh my god, just dashes through. ORZ, ORZ. So many staggers. Yeah, right. This might be probably the most like 
conservative match that we've seen all night, you know? Like, everybody's just like, you know, we're just going for staggers, you know, real simple, real, like, control pressure. Like, look, you know, we're not going for no mix-ups, we're just going for straight advantage. Yeah, and these two characters actually are kind of like that in, in general. Like, they're very simple in their game plan. Uh, Sokka wants to mix the hell out of you, and uh, Wolf wants to do the same, just with very basic tools, essentially. Strike throw, maybe an overhead low, um, a dash through if he gets the right situation for it. So yeah, like you see there, it's not always the right situation. You get punished for that. Yeah, you know, and that's again, you know, like that's the beauty of Killer Instinct. It caters to so many different styles. Like, yeah, again, for sure. The, the oh. skill, the 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 skill ceiling is the sky. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You know, the oh, floor is lava dead. and the ceiling is the sky. Right, so. <laughs> <laughs> Or is lava sometimes, that's yeah, for sure. you know, yeah, the moment you get up in here, because again, right, game's been out for 10 plus years, so you're you're, you're definitely stepping into the hot zone, right? Yeah. You, the moment your first rank match, they're styling on you, hitting you with a 200 ultra combo, and you're like, <laughs> what did I just sign up for, right? And then you get past that, and then you realize that you, it's even further, you know? It's, there's not a... It's not a ladder, it's a pair of wings that you gotta grow on your back <laughs> to catch up, you know? You gotta become Icarus. Let's go. Yeah, literally, <laughs> right? Everybody's chilling on Mount Olympus already, just watching. Like, <laughs> That's true. Well, I mean, Bailing's gotta get up there now, too. He's yeah. gotta make the climb. Let's see if he, if he does it with a different character. Or if he's gonna stick it out with Wolf. Oh, no, he goes to Omen. Another pocket. See how he does oh, this. okay, okay. All right, here we go. Wow, I'm loving that Russia. red right now. Yeah. Red light, green light, go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got the creeper. Still get swept out of it. Yeah, you know, and that's always the craziest thing about Omen, right? He is literally RNG the character, you know, having those uh, random factors into his uh, fireballs. Yeah. Yeah, definitely gotta recognize the pattern. It's like really soon, pretty much on spawn, and then you can uh, play around it as a defender and the. Uh, uh, oh, and just himself. as you said something, right? Immediately saw the fireball and tried to respond, but not quick enough. Yep, that was the light one, so it recovered too quick. And oh. there it is. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> There's a. That's dangerous. Yeah, quite a few ways that she can just pretty much nullify. Uh, wake up. Uh, uh, Horda. Now Bainley's in a pretty tough spot here. He's got to make uh, like five right decisions, and it's not going to happen. Yeah, he had to break that. Yeah, Absolute Zero is doing an absolute phenomenal job right now of just keeping it contained and keeping Bainley's control. You see Bainley wants to get out, right? In that last round, they tried two different wake-ups, and it didn't matter. And yeah. they're trying their best to get something started, and Zero is just keeping them out. Oh, no. And the mistake there is going to add more real estate for Zero. Oh, just catch them with the forward HP. Yep. Nice trying to get okay. funny with the mix here. Oh, and a freeze frame. Uh oh. Oh, okay, okay. You know, some some neat tech a little bit, right? You know, yep. understanding the hit advantage. Yeah, that's a that's a, a classic to uh, uh, try and bait the lockout. Essentially, the four dash baits the lockout, and then you have to kind of guess on the lightning legs. Although you can react to them, it's just really hard. Right. All right, and uh, Bangley's there cranking out that jump light kick, right? Trying to uh, force an absolute zero to guess. Because, I mean, that is what Omen does, right? He's not really a neutral heavy character. He's really a set play character when you think about it, right? So He can definitely be played that way, yeah. yeah. Damn, he but has he doesn't some, get like, started. neutral, friendly thing, but he's not like Jago, where he's just constantly controlling that space. Or Hasako in that case, right? Like, Hasako mm -hmm. definitely has the advantage when it comes to the range game. Yeah, for but, sure. Uh, yeah, but, uh, but Omen's got Omen's got some nasty buttons too. We we'll, we'll talk about his punches. Uh, he basically mm -hmm. they they gave him Wolf's uh, uh, normals for his punches essentially, and Jago's uh, normals for the kicks. So he has an interesting combination. But yeah, those those punches those punch buttons are are pretty god tier. Crouching yeah. knee punches so good. But yeah, like you're saying. He spends more of his time in the air, um, but we ain't gonna see that anymore. We're gonna see an actual main from Banelings now. He's going with Idol. Yeah, tries to uh, get the warrior body early there. You see him uh, mm -hmm. trying to wake him up. 
Which I'm kind of surprised about because I feel like Mage does pretty well against Sako. Yeah, right? Because you want to mm -hmm. keep her out, so like, why not? But, yeah, you know. and she can't parry the projectiles. You still have plus frames in Mage, it's just not as plus as before. Ooh, good name was there from uh, Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, nah, put it the, right the away. The game is trying to tell you something, Bane, <laughs> all right? <laughs> the game is trying to help you out. <laughs> the game said, trust me, this is the way. <laughs> yeah, like, look, just, just, just relax, all right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very difficult to deal with. Can't really parry any of this. <laughs> yeah, you can see uh, Absolute Ooh. trying to creep up there. That four dash is so scary. <laughs> Oh wow, catches him. This is gonna be the life bar. Nice. Yeah, push her into the wall. And, and here we go. Again, a game is telling you something, Bane. You better listen. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh. Boots are in the Downtown. face. Downtown. The stand roundhouse. Max range. Oh! That is so weird. Yeah, trying to bait instinct there. Probably gonna do it again. Yep. yep. Yeah, no Wait instant pop. Oh, wow. use the pip there for the extender. Yeah. Still has a pip for warrior body, however, so that's a run cancel waiting to happen. Mm -hmm. I anticipate instinct is coming pretty soon. Oh my oh. god, maybe not. <laughs> Good parry there, getting stuff started. Uh oh, this is not ideal. Uh, now he's only getting one instinct instead of two, and yeah. Okay, well, that's definitely a good time to use it, right? So. Yeah, he needs, definitely needed to pop it sooner than later. <laughs> the damage! Yo, and he got a pimp. Oh, oh my gosh, yo, and a wake up parry. Absolute zero is absolutely tired of the shenanigans. They said no, what a and it doesn't matter. Oh, nice oh. break on the overhead. Yeah, I feel like that was a like a knowledge check, right? Just to see. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Got the hard knockdown. Oh, woke up with command grab by accident. Probably tried to use the macro. Yeah, he probably tried to use the macro for uh, shadow DP, or maybe he was reading dash up influence. Oh, uh, that could be. And it's not too horrible for Wolf as long as he can get close and get the party started eventually. But let's see if he's able to do that here. And he does right away. Goes for those, the, that uh, crouching light punch. Ooh, back dash. Wow, lots of breaks right away. A lot of activity. They're both just trying to get established, essentially, and keep the other person off them. Woo. Oh, right away. We got the Shadow Pit already. This is actually now kind of rough because Nobody uses the pit as well as Duel. And he just jumps out, but he's got that scarab there to deal, and he just pushes him right back into the pit. What a god. <laughs> right? Yeah, Duel's is so knowledgeable about this stuff. Like, once he gets started like this, it's so hard to deal with. Okay, sacrifices the pit. Oh, now, now the, the, the shoe's on the other foot. Yeah, and there you go. And that, another, that's another thing, too, that I actually forgot to mention. That crouching white punch. Plus on block, definitely can be looped in a way, right? So, you know, good on Roman for having that awareness to just keep it simple, to keep it calm the team. But again, like I said, there oh it is. Oh my god! You're going in with the slides because you hit the low profile so much. Essentially, it's like Tusk's uh, spirit step as far as like how low he gets to the ground. He can go under so many things. You know, and then right like we, we were just talking about, Roman plays like a person possessed. They are <laughs> constantly pushing. Each other. He knows when you he can almost say reckless abandon at that point, but no, there's definitely a method to the madness. Yeah, for sure. These are these are planned, calculated risks. Mm -hmm. um, oh, good, good woo, stuff. Woo. They're getting rid of scarabs. Yeah, unfortunately, gets blown up on the the with the running claw. Now he's cursed. Has to deal yeah. with it. Oh, you just... saw that you tried to use the the jump roundhouse to get rid of the scarab real quick. Like, yeah, it was like right in front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a great option because he's in the air, so you know there's not much that can happen to him besides just getting anti-aired. But now we got a lockout. This is going to be a little more challenging. We're probably going to set up Shadow Pit. Oh wow! No, he's going for instant overhead. Oh, 
Oh, good manual there with the back heavy punch. Mm -hmm. He sets up the Shadow Scarab instead. Oh, he does jumping heavy kick. He's just gonna get slapped for it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Plans A through F. Yep. He will adjusting his glasses like an anime character. Oh! Oh, caught him? Oh, God. Oh, it's gonna be a little scary now. Again, what did we say, chat? Roman's uh -oh. gonna get in. Uh oh. It's not a question of if. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Safe jump. And he is dead. Damn! Brought it all the way back. Wow. Like you said, it's when he gets in, not if. Yeah, exactly. And Duel did such an amazing job of controlling that, right? Every time Roman got in, Duel had an answer. Mm -hmm. But Roman doesn't care, you know? Roman can't really, right? Because the moment you start to care is the moment when you start to lose. Yes. And Roman did a great job of just keeping up the pressure however they could, by any means. So yep. that was a really, really strong showing there for Roman. Yeah, he knew he could take those risks. Um, he knew that the damage from failing at those risks or getting blown up for him was not going to be the, the deal breaker for him. And uh, let's see if Duel can make the adjustment Maybe play a little more active on offense uh, to try and mix Wolf a little bit more, but that's a scary proposition. Yeah, you know, and uh, I'm gonna call this now. Duel getting the buff with the uh, the fit right now using the <laughs> uh, the Pharaoh skin. So uh, I, it's, it's one of my favorite skins for Kamra for sure. I haven't seen this in so long, to be honest. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is, in my opinion, one of his best ones. But you know, everybody likes to meme and put on the, the mustache and the top yeah. hat and all that crap. So. <laughs> See, look, heavy lockout. I'm telling you, man, it's the skin. It has to be the skin. You know how they say, it's got to be the shoes. It's got to be yeah. the skin, you know? Yo. <laughs> the power up. He's got the stat uh -huh. boost. Oh, no, he can't go through that. Damn, he's Roman struggling in this game, though. Oh, Ooh, confirmed. Yeah. And gets the curse. And the pit. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. sitting. Yeah, it's dual sitting pretty right now. Yeah. He can do whatever he wants. He's got a huge life lead. He's got scarabs. He's got a pit for backup. He's got another pit. Yeah, and pit. you know, that's something that dual likes to do as well, right? He'll throw the command grab out while you're blocking scarabs on purpose to force yeah. you to push a button. Yeah. Oh, what an anti-air with the crouch uh, roundhouse. Oh, man. Lockout. Two shadows spent. This is big damage. Yeah. Mm. Recap? Oh, no. He just goes for the uh, stinger. Yeah, and that was smart, right? Because, like, you want that damage, you know? And honestly, I was I would do the recapture there, too. I'm like, oh, I'm going to make this hurt. But no, yeah. you need the resources because he's got that meter. He's got instinct. This could very easily get ugly for you. And it's looking like that right now. Yeah, let's see if he's able. This is going to be a hell of a hill to climb, but... Oh, yeah, this going to be rough. He's a little content to just set up the obstacle course, and there it is. Mm -hmm. Ties it up. Nice adjustment never gave Roman a chance to basically breathe or get in or get anything started. Um, which is exactly, I feel like, how Duel uh, or Khan wins this matchup. Yeah, for sure, for sure, right? And like we said before, it is, it is one traditional style versus another, and it's basically a matter of who manages to enforce their game plan better. Mm -hmm. We saw first, Roman was the one to do it, now it's Duel. So it's getting it's that exchange of power that you that you're seeing between the both the two of these players. So very curious to see how this goes. I would very much be surprised if it doesn't go to the Yeah. Same. Why'd you change? Oh man. <laughs> oh man. See, I just had to open my big fat mouth, right? Look. Now, he heard now you. here we are. Yeah, right. <laughs> you heard you said, no, I don't need the ball. <laughs> yeah, commentator's curse has no preference. It hits everybody, chat. <laughs> Regardless, though, Duel got that big lockout. Now he's got Roman in the corner. This is exactly what he wants to be. This is Shadow Pit. This is going to be pressure for days. Oh, wow, he doesn't do anything with it. Probably expecting that. Exactly that. But no Shadow to actually counter that. It wouldn't matter anyway. He still had the instincts. That timing was godlike. He waited for the... Oh, wow, he still got him. He waited for the uh, the, the pit to throw out the stinger so that he could actually jump and not get ant here. What a legend. It's gonna be the life bar. Yeah. Yeah, chip out damage there. Still has to scare up in the pit. Oh, wow. 
Oh, wow, there it is. That heavy counter breaker. It's just too tempting to avoid. Recap. Okay. Oh, we're getting a recap this time. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Oh, now Duel's feeling it right. Oh, he hasn't no. used that all night. <laughs> he is absolutely feeling it. He is getting on his nerves. Uh oh. Shadow Pit. Here we go. The yeah. infinite pressure. Oh, yeah. Shenanigans. Yeah, you're getting frustrated. You're tired of it. You're tired of the chip. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no! Don't don't get too wild now, Duel. You can still lose. Yeah, I know, right? Like you, you teabagging and all that. Hey man, you, you know you're looking kind of. That was a that was a mistake. <laughs> Roman will. Be, oh, okay, okay. Okay, I'm about to say like he will do this if you get if you let. Yeah. Him. <laughs> He's already done it once. Like, <laughs> gotta you better be careful. You know. They're playing playing tonight. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm telling you. So. Oh. Again, it is just a matter of who enforces their game plan first, right? Roman, mm -hmm. again, making some really strong reads and one, baiting out the wake-ups. It's very yeah. important against a character like Conrad, right? You have to be patient enough to wait out those bust out moments and they are doing that. It's just that at that time, by the time it is getting going and by the time you finally get something started, Duel has already built enough real estate for himself. Essentially, basically making it where they have health to give. Exactly. Yeah, he's got health to give, resources out, so he can just play however he wants. He, has to, he doesn't really have to stress. He doesn't have to force his way in. And we're getting started again with mid-screen this time. Oh, wow. Just caught by the walk-up command grab. The curses are not helping, of course. Um, it makes it real difficult for Roman to pretty much do anything. So he's getting cursed from the tail grabs. It's, yeah, it's a rough life. Like yeah, this, what do you do about it? Yeah, and if you notice, right, Duel typically tends to put a scarab in the air. Not this time, right, because yeah. Wolf is all about the ground game more time. And knows that he wants to slide up in there and get the party started. But no, just opt to make sure to put a couple scarabs on the ground to keep that area covered because Wolf doesn't necessarily have the strongest air option. Like, he does have that dive slash, but it's very easy to react to, very easy to block. Yeah, it doesn't even cross up, so it's more of a, a moving tool than anything. Um, oh yeah, he's just gonna get blown up for that. We got some signs of life here. Roman doesn't need much to bring this back. But still, just getting any the opening is the hard part here. Oh, wow. Oh, almost. He almost failed to confirm. Just didn't recognize in time. Oh! Oh, that was a standing uh, light yeah, punch. That I didn't notice crazy, that. Yeah, crazy mm -hmm. oh. oh, that was wild. I didn't even see the scarab there. And I didn't see what side it was on. Dual psychopath. That was disgusting. Yeah, you know, and we saw it in game number three, right? There, go. there it is. We got the battle toad against the android. All right, so y'all. Who y'all got? The funny thing is, uh, Glacius does like actually really well against uh, Arya just because of the damage output he can do. But right. I think this is mostly about familiarity, and obviously Rash does plenty fine. <laughs> There's no problems here as far as I can tell. So uh, yeah, why not go with the, uh, the Toad? Ooh, checks the. Oh wow, nice reaction. So aware. And gets a lockout. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be brutal. Brutal damage on Arya. 67% from Rash, and she's got the first body dead already. Wow. Speed running the, uh, uh, the boost. Oh, oh, add a little extra flavor on it. All right. Mm -hmm. Alex, let it be known that they are ready to play. Chronicle. Still Ooh. with... Oh, oh, oh with my God. To the dome. <laughs> oh, oh, my okay. God. He's, he's just playing. get out of my face. <laughs> All right, Alex V playing super confident right now. Maybe even disrespectful, one could say, but we're just gonna go ahead and let it rock. Hell yeah. And there go that low damage grab you were talking about earlier, 5%, that is crazy. Yeah, it, does let, it doesn't do much uh, pure damage, but it does stack a grip of white life, which is equally scary considering how godlike their pressure is. But yeah. on the other hand... Yeah, speaking oh, of godlike no. pressure. 
Yeah, locking out against this is brutal, especially with the bikes coming in. Here it comes again. Oh, oh, yeah, you can just keep gosh. going. 19 hits. Oh, oh. And the ender. Yeah, you can do opener ender and cancel it in the bike, and they can't break it in time on reaction. They'd have to yeah. match opener ender break or heavy break to get that. So brutal. <laughs> Yeah, and this is where this is where people start to get pissed off, Chad. You know, this yeah. is pretty much <laughs> this is where Rash really starts to get on your nerves at this point. So you mm -hmm. know, if you're thinking it's crazy, it's because it is, and it kind of does this to everybody. So you know, just just roll with it, all right? Just, just, yeah. just let it happen. <laughs> yeah, the light boot harassment is uh is uh it's 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 telling me things. It's telling yeah. me things. <laughs> yeah, safe on block with the pushback. So, you know, you got to be uh, very careful when approaching them, right? Mm -hmm. And on top of that, has some priority there. So that's yeah. why you saw Alex V just cranking it out, just essentially trying to stuff any random raw button that Chronicle might be throwing out in the neutral there. Yeah, right. that's what he was telling me is saying, stop pushing. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, respect me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ooh. you are not the, yeah, you're, you're not the, uh, you're not in control. Here. Exactly. Uh oh, wait a minute. Chronicle coming back with some mix-ups of their own here. Yeah, and there we go, folks. This is going to be a slugfest, as you can already tell. Gets the medium lockout. Has a bar to play with. Going to spend it. That's that. Get him out of here early. Is that perfect? <laughs> it's what I think it was. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, wow. Yeah, that's a great option. Oh, nice. Yeah, can't do that anymore. That is the anniversary change. Yeah, took that away immediately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he lands in the front and gets trapped. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Uh -oh. oh, my gosh. Oh, and another shotgun knee. You got your boot, I got my guns. How dare you bring a rip. boot to a gunfight, sir? Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh wow and just like that 70 seconds still on the clock and he just absolutely runs over alex's uh rash there very momentum based these two these two players yeah absolutely and a clap back indeed these folks are no strangers to danger and are going to be absolutely going at it each time every time again no surprise if this goes to three two no yes. surprise absolutely in fact, I demand it. Um. Yes, yes. <laughs> you are being commanded to give us a three, two cents. Yes. The people want more. <laughs> yes, exactly. You are no longer fighting for you. You are fighting for the crowd. <laughs> and what they tell the gladiators? Yeah, I was gonna say the it's a gladiator. <laughs> yeah. It's not enough to win. You must win the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It's not much money in the crowd here though. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Throw in the corner. Yeah, it's gonna be pressure for days. There's the boot. Get off me. No check on the uh, shotgun knee or blitz. I thought it was gonna hit. Oh, punk pressure. Just a bunch of uh, neutral pokes here trying to get their confirms down and get the vortex set up. Oops. Mm -hmm. Got a little anti there trying to get him off him too much. And that's gonna be the body. Mm -hmm. So Arya with instincts to see if she uses it in this uh, life bar. I assume she will. Although the life is already very low for Arya. These are not trades in her favor at all. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely has to push there. Oh, oh what a break! Oh my oh. God. here the bike still comes <laughs> yeah and, and that's good on chronicle right for checking alex v for the wrecking ball shenanigans, right because mm -hmm. let's be real rash players be be party you know rash <laughs> players like to like to do stuff so you know you have to be ready to check them at any given moment because they're gonna try it and why yeah. wouldn't they right because it, it, it's it's good you know it's not something that you really want to get discouraged from or it should be exactly but again you know it's just Stop. <laughs> you know, yeah, like, exactly. enough. <laughs> enough is enough. <laughs> when you got the answer and you know what that answer is, yeah, you can finally tell them no. Yeah, yeah. This is 
pretty even. Uh, maybe not so much even, but it's close enough where... Oh, no. Not with this lockout, though. With the shadow, that's going to be a problem. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. But oh, no. his snake is potentially on the table here. There yep. One final chance to make it work. Going to build up some meter here. At least he kept sore body for the end. Mm -hmm. So there's a shot. He's going to have to put on some extreme zombie kind of pressure here. Oh yeah, but Blade Body's on the you know on the table, so it can definitely happen, right? Ooh. You have access to high low mix ups. Never but mind. It's not gonna matter. These yeah, unfortunate. Alex takes that one up to one in the set. I doubt we're gonna see Chronicle switch to Shago. Yeah, you know, as much as I would love to see it. I just feel like Arya would be the stronger pick in this case, right? Because she has everything that you would need. The literal thing that she's lacking is health. So mm -hmm. that kind of thing happening is something you have to be okay with as an Arya player. You have to make your peace with, I might die here, you know, because that's the character. But right. it, it, again, like, it's a matter of an adaptation, right? Because you can very easily take away the opponent's ability to play with this character. Exactly. Yeah, that's why it's so strong in the beginning. She has the tools that just, like, run you over very easily. Mm -hmm. See right there, you know, checking uh, Alex there for trying to move forward with the shotgun knee. Mm -hmm. Really, it's just coming down to these these couple key de decisions, right? Locking out in really, you know, bad spots. But yeah. Chronicle is still pushing forward. Oh, wow. He got the uh, he got the safe crescendo there, which is really hard to do. It's a, a weird timing that I learned from Crossroll for you. Uh... Isn't it like a tiger knee almost? No, it's a uh, it's it's about when you put them in block stun with the assist. If they're in block stun with the assist and you make them block uh, crescendo, it like reduces the pushback for some reason. Ah, gotcha. It's real weird. Yeah, and that's one of the things about Killer Instinct is that there are a lot of different scenarios where you can actually like manipulate the frame better, right? Because mm -hmm. it's a matter of distance, and, you know, and distance and placement. Yeah, and there's a lot of quirks that like just like change the properties of what's getting hit. It's, just, it's, a, it's a game that's got a lot of, like I said, emergent uh, uh, issues with it where you can, you know, kind of figure out all this weird, wacky technical stuff. Right. And that was a last second instinct pop in. Yeah. <laughs> and a good one too, because they might have a chance to get a second one here before the match is over. Yeah. Depending on how much damage it takes here. Oh, oh. my gosh. <laughs> it's just coming in clutch. Let's go. Oh, wow, and a jab, no jab. <gasps> yep, shadow counter. They are swinging here. Oh yeah, absolutely. Alex B on set point here, trying to wrap this up once that coveted winner side spot in grand finals. Yeah, he can taste it. Oh, He's yeah. playing like he can. Ooh, nice blocks, but still gets opened up. Oh no, goes for the Hail Mary. This is almost certainly going to be a life bar. So hard to break. Oh, he gets it wrong, yeah. You got instinct. Ooh. Instinct is back. Oh, there was the opener ender. No, <laughs> so tricky. It's game. It's it is. Game. That has to be game. Oh yeah, for sure. my wow. gosh. Alex V. Still as dominant as ever. That stuff, uh, Nikki. He's not uh, currently active, but he yeah, Ultra produced Tech University. Wealth. Yeah, he produced a wealth of content. Go to his channel and find it. It's all over the place. Mm -hmm. Guides, um, entertaining stuff, matches, the, the works. Um, shout outs to him. All right, so we got Duel go. versus Zero. Let's go. And that devilish grin, Conrad, right? The <laughs> e. He knows what he's about. He knows he's yeah. dishonest. <laughs> Yeah, and his lore is actually crazy, right? Yeah. Like, the fact that he's just, he's never died. Like, he's just it's so old that his body's, like, withered. But it's be he's the Shang Tsung of the game, basically. Yeah. Right? Like, he keeps himself alive by consuming souls. That's exactly. actually kind of OD. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now, we saw Zero earlier, right? Zero is no stranger to just wetting it out and is very conservative in their gameplay and very clean. Um, Duel, however, is also very, uh, you know, reserved in their gameplay as well. You can see here, not taking any liberties, just backing up, you know, just taking their time. Yeah, exactly. Charging up the tornado, making sure that they cannot get out. Yeah, he's playing his, pl he's playing his game plan and he's, he's uh, he knows it's effective, so he's not deviating. 
Like, get the shadow. Zero. Mm -hmm. Now, he's, now it's mixed time. Oh, he just runs Ooh. into it. Oh, neutral jump. Oh. Oh. Duel. Oh, that dash Yo, would be that, No, there's no way. There's no way. How did that work out? Yo, zero. That's so. That's actually like power of the gods on your side right now. <laughs> Seriously, like her, her crappy back dash actually worked in her favor there because it did, she didn't go far enough back to go into the tornado. That's messed up. That's hilarious. <laughs> Okay, gets another grab. This is actually gonna be pretty rough. Yeah, he had to make a pretty nasty decision. Guess that he was gonna do dash up influence and uh, just got slapped for it. See if he gets it right this time. Nope. Oh, wait a minute. It's he's coming, you know it is. He's, he's waiting on it. Yeah. Oh, oh, never mind. I didn't know that was coming. Hold on. Yeah. Uh oh, this is real nasty now. The life lead's huge. And Sakura. Yeah. But there's plenty of time left on the clock. Mm -hmm. No dual space. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah, and that's gonna be chip there. Yeah, gonna put up a sand pit there. Get right in there. Yep. Immediate dash from zero. Smart <laughs> stuff, because you don't want to give Conrai any time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice reaction, but they were baiting each other. Uh oh, is this the start of something beautiful? Possibly. <laughs> Here we go. Yep, put up another correctly. pit. That is such a crazy setup. Plus <laughs> frames into more plus frames. You can't shadow counter it because of the multi hits. Uh oh. Be nice. Oh no, he had enough wrath? I didn't even see that. Literally just oh, enough. Oh, it was just enough. just enough. That's crazy. Yeah. I would have done it too. <laughs> yeah, you have to, right? Because mm -hmm. you saw the wheels turning. Yep, it was going to be chipped. gears were spinning. Yep, and yep. immediately dual saw an opportunity there. And it's one of those situations where it's like, damn if you do, damn if you don't, right? Because yeah. if you let it rock, then you're going to eat another mix up. It's a potential chip situation. And then if you counter it, you got to make sure that it's the right counter. So. <laughs> It's, uh... Yeah, I think the only thing he could have even attempted to do there was like pray that the second Rekka didn't chip him and then shadow counter the third and yeah, you know, pray that he goes for it. But, yeah, you know, you know it's, it's, it's like, I don't want to say checkmate, but, you know, again, you know, it's one of those like you have one chance, right? Yeah. And, and it's a really difficult decision in the first place. Yep. But Duel's not looking to, uh, to repeat that decision. He doesn't want to even give zero a chance. Yeah, and a good tick grab situation there using the uh, the light extension. A bit more active. Oh, nice shadow counter. Very nice. That's very rare to see that. Not a lot of people shadow counter that. Okay, getting the hard knockdown. Get Wrath and mix. Oh, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Got an ender. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess all the crazy stuff has been happening tonight. I don't know. <laughs> I guess he still had wrath left. <laughs> I thought yeah. he didn't, but it's okay. Ooh. No. Probably yes. trying to get him with a jump medium kick there for the angle, but mm -hmm. get out of there. Oh god, yeah. Get just... away. <laughs> get away. Stay away from me. Yeah, he doesn't want to deal with it, and I don't blame yeah, him. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I don't Ooh. want nothing you selling. Now he's dead for it. Nice. Duel knowing when to go crazy and when not. Nice block. Get rid of the, uh, the scarabs. Oh, the, the poor dash to push him out of the scarabs so that he can actually throw him. Oh, God, like. Oh, use the record to sneak under the scarabs. Mm hmm. And I like that Duel is utilizing the uh, tornado, right? Because. Sako has a very floaty jump. So yeah. she's going to stay on the ground majority of the time. And she's going to try to use that creepy forward dash to get in, right? <laughs> so throwing out the tornado to check that is a really strong option there for Duel. And we're going to sure. go for the full recap into the wall splat, into the re-dunk. Oh, tries to go for the instant overhead, but blocks it. Oh, wow. Gets, Wanna, oof. Yeah, gets possessed. <laughs> yeah, right. God, standing medium punch. 
Imagine oh. being possessed as a sorcerer. Yeah, seriously? Like, that's crazy. Like, you don't have a counteract for that, man? Like, <laughs> he started you do all the books to be reading. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how Conrock curses the, the cursed girl, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying, right? You know, thousands and thousands of years of research. Like, honestly, you better have something. Yeah, I just know. Oh, my gosh. Zero. Okay, yeah, this is real difficult for up. Zero now. Yeah. I anticipate a chip situation coming up pretty soon. Yeah, we're a jump medium. Jump medium kick for sure. Oh my god. Oh, never mind. Whoa, grabs the jump roundhouse. Yeah. That's not actually yeah, so It actually hits the there. ground. Oh. And the thing that I do like about Duel, right, is that he understands nice. that people are looking for the explosion. So yeah. He's taking liberties here on purpose to kind of goad you into going for a meaty or some sort of other like big read, right? So he can set up those opportunities to use the explosion, which is also really frustrating to deal with because you're kind of letting him out for free. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it kind of sucks. <laughs> it's another frustration point for Khan if you're just that good, really. Um, but yeah, like you said, Duel's so aware of basically conditioning like in all things, I feel like, in all aspects of his, his game, which is really, really cool to see. Mm -hmm. All right, folks, one to one. Little oh, semis. Start off with a sweep. Okay, there ORZ to keep him out of the air. He knows he wants to get out of the corner. There it is again. Gets mixed. Got some uh, block strings oh, going on. Pinwheel action with the back medium punch. Mm hmm. Great option, kind of hard shadow counter. Oh my god, that's a, the lowest to the ground or as he, or as he could and unfortunately loses a whole bar for it. Yeah, it's very And a bunch right. of life. Ugh. Oh yeah, into the wall, recap, and the pit is still there. This is not a good situation for Zero right now. Obstacle course in effect. Oh, and he broke it, okay. Yeah, what a break. Wow, oh, just what a break. Yeah. <laughs> we were just talking about this, you know, like you spend all day looking for the explosion. He doesn't do it. He jumps out instead. And it's like, okay, he's not going to explode. And I'm out. <laughs> yep, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and <laughs> oh, no, no break on the heavy there. Those mental stacks setting in place here. Zero. Not so sure what to come, uh, what's, what's coming next. Oh, this is nasty. Uh, Conrad kind of protecting himself in the corner. Oh, wow. Shadow Whirl. I'm surprised about that. Just goes for it. Yeah, and you know, like, that just goes to speak towards the development of Duel's game plan, right? Duel, mm -hmm. when he is feeling it, he is really feeling it. And he has always been a very confident player. It's just, of course, when you start to shut down those options, where you start to see just what he's made of. But in these moments here, where he feels like he has a pretty heavy control on it, this is where you start to see a lot of his uh, gameplay shine. Right. Yeah, for sure. This is where he sees all the conditioning coming coming through and uh, all of his his incredible pressure. Oh, God. Yeah, it's yeah, a shadow counter and that is going to be it. Oh, no. Oh, he didn't no. spend it. He didn't know what side it was on. <laughs> that is so unfortunate. Whoa, with the read. Oh, gets over the tornado. Very nice. So gets a... Uh, Still an instinct, so this is gonna be real tough. We're gonna see some, yeah, leaping around the screen. Oh no, this gets grabbed. Oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> the music right now. Oh. Yeah, seriously. Oh no! my god. <laughs> oh, no! just raw snatch. <laughs> just raw, just come here. Yes, really? Wow. He said, let me wrap this up real quick. What a, <laughs> yeah, yeah, what a call out. Raw command grab on yeah. makeup. Wow. <laughs> that was great. Yo, and it was the perfect range. That is an incredible read there from Duel. That is a character specialist, folks. When you can just make decisions like that on the fly. Mm -hmm. That is, in, that was amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> All right, here we go, folks. Duel looking to wrap it up here, trying to make it into that top three territory. How do you defeat a spirit? With science. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my God. Or counterbreakers. I helped you read or two. Yeah, jeez. I 
Did you not see this book I have in my hand? Okay, yeah, now the instant he gets the life lead, he's big chilling. Playing lane. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And this is the typical dual game plan, yeah. right? Just sit there, chip away, locks the shadow world, no punish. I think it's only yeah, like I saw minus what two. happened there, you know, he, he DI'd the world to move away to make it more obvious. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he does that quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, nice break. instant break. That's crazy. Yeah. And that's and that's also just super frustrating to deal with that player, you know. When the person you're facing against is just absolutely they're reading you on top of read the read they've made prior. Right? <laughs> yeah. You know, and in some cases it feels kind of intentional, right? It's like, alright, I wanna let you hit me so I can break it and then get the, the actually get the real neutral reset. Right? Dude, no joke, that is actually like a real thing. Where it's yeah. like I'm going to intentionally like do this over and over again just to drive you insane and then I'm gonna yeah. stop doing it. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just like really, really, really annoying to deal with them. and trying to bring them into the scarabs. Yep. Zero doing nothing, just waiting it out. Not entirely sure what to do in this case, right? Because they do have a slight help lead. But, but as you can see, situation. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was sick. Yeah. That was <laughs> sick. Oh my gosh. Duel. Stop. Oh my goodness. Dual setups from uh, Unblockable Tornado are pretty crazy. He's got like unblockable recap setups. So like, yeah. if he gets you into into danger and he throws that throws that on you, it's literally GG. Um, if you don't have Shadow. Yeah, for sure. Good break there from Zero. Good anti air. Oh no! no. Didn't get the capture. Goes for Still something. Plus. Yeah. yeah. And that is a crazy exchange there because it looked like Duel's round. It looked yeah. like he pretty much had it in the bag, but Zero coming away with it. Wow, that is an advantage. It's nuts. Yeah. Jump <laughs> <laughs> H, it picks. Oh no, oh, he's locked no. out. This is brutal. That is not good. So lucky uh -oh. he didn't have Shadow, but still 51%. And now he's in the corner against Asako with a little bit of instant left. This is yeah. going to be rough. Oh, nice. Don't not test me. Wow. All right, here we go, folks. A three, a two-two situation here. It's gonna be final game. Supreme victory. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a, I'm a little, I'm a little salty that Duel lost that. Cause after the tornado, <laughs> the tornado conversion, I said, ah, yeah, that's over, that's over. <laughs> I just knew that he was coming away with that, and yeah. I am so glad I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I was just. I was positive. I was positive. Like, yo, when a player is hitting like the custom combos, right? The, the <laughs> freaky combos that just like you never see. Like, they don't even post them on Twitter because you have to set up like three te three things. You got three teams all happening at once just to get the opportunity to happen. And he landed it. And I'm just yeah. like, oh, yeah, that's over. But, no, but uh, Zero managed to uh, snuff that out. So, you know, good stuff there. Good stuff. Yeah, stay in solid. He's getting disappointed tonight. I don't get to see all. I don't get to see nothing cool, man. All the cool stuff getting <laughs> shut down. None of your uh, dive kick. You, you wanted to see that dive kick combo so bad. I wanted to see it so bad. I was just like, yes, the Twitter combo is happening, and then he broke it. Frame one. I'm like, ah, boo, fine, whatever, Alex, whatever. <laughs> oh, I'm just jump low. Uh, that's pretty cool. From Hisako of all characters. Oh, wow. Just good catch on the teleport there. There's good reactions. I tried to send it for some reason. Just did not want to be in that corner anymore, I guess. Yeah, and Zero's doing a good job of also good punishing as well, because this is one of those things where you have to be able to challenge, because a lot of the stuff the duel is doing, while it is pretty solid, not all of it is true because again mm -hmm. you know as you saw there he tried to throw out the uh stand roundhouse for the sand pit but there's a lot of recovery on that so yeah absolute zero understanding that was able to get a hit but now it's time to chill zero has a very very slight health lead here but it is not good positioning and duel just needs one not even a full hit just one hit in general to turn this around mm -hmm. yeah Zero trying to find a spot where he can pop instinct and run away with this life bar, and neither of them really want to give up their life bars. Right. Although it's a little more detrimental if Zero dies here. 
Oh, and here we go. Oh. That was it. That's all you needed. Oh, Again, no. Doesn't even need the clean hit. Just needed a hit. And already things are just turn around there. It's that fast. It can happen that fast. It can happen to you. It can happen to you. you. Know? <laughs> it has happened to me, in fact. You know what um. I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I may, I may be speaking from experience. This feels bad. Yeah, exactly um, right. <laughs> but yeah, oh, still stuck in the, still stuck mid-screen because of that. That's uh, crazy. That silly that's scorpion crazy. tail, man. Yeah. The corner is wherever Duel decides it is. To be perfectly honest. Where the Riptor players at? I don't know. Trash baby, why aren't you doing it? <laughs> oh, T baby's here. Oh yeah, T baby. That's right. Or Trash baby is here. T baby isn't. <laughs> My bad. I keep forgetting. Yeah, I got yeah, I got mixed up too. That's what I was actually talking about. T baby and Trish, yeah. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, we need uh we need Riptor, we need combo, we need everybody else. We need Sadira. Yeah. Indian. Where are your antennas at? Yeah, I know you still play this game. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. oh, oh my no. goodness. Oh no. Here we go. No break. Duel just working in the corner. Oh my god, he had that on lock. That's crazy. He knew that was gonna do so much damage. That's wild. Yeah, but such a strong showing from both of our players. Such oh. good stuff there. Nice yes. style. <laughs> nice <Yes>. style. <laughs> yes. You will no longer need this. That was so sick. That was yeah. so sick. That was, all right, we got two actions from the start, you know? Exactly. Like, and we were just in pools. Like, you know, it's kind of insane. Here we go. Aria versus Khan. Um, so, yeah, Duel and Chronicle played a first to 10 uh, just the other day. I think it was like first to 15, and it did not go well for Duel. So let's see yeah. if adjustments have been made. I actually was was kind of guessing the duel was sandbagging, but maybe not. We'll see. Um, this is a rough matchup. I mean, Ari's got pressure for days, and Conrad does not have, like, any reversal options to pop hit. So. Yeah, but, you know, we've been talking about it all night, right? You know, it's all about what you're comfortable with at the end of the day. And sure, you can pick something else, but if you can't perform at the level that you do with your main, then you're kind of wasting your time. Yeah. And that said, duel is absolutely oh, murdering this body. Where are you going? Yeah. Yeah, watch it, watch your backside there, watch your six. Yeah, who cares about that first to 15? This is what really matters. <laughs> well, honestly, the first to 15, you know, that's that's information, right? That's exactly. how you learn. Mm -hmm. Understanding what happened the last time, maybe. Oh, wow, that's a huge damage. Still has life. Oh, God, Sans close. Oh, he did it again. I thought he did it again, maybe not. <laughs> that could have been a visual effect. Yeah, oh. Oh, what? Oh, what? no. What is yes. this? What? <laughs> yo, come on. Yo, come on. Okay, classic. okay, 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 okay. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down, Killer Instinct, all right? Sheesh. Uh -oh. My heart can only take so much, okay? <laughs> Lucky. This guy stop the bleeding. He doesn't. Oh, my God. He gets mm. counter broke into Ultra. Damn, he, he started that game so well, but... Kron just brought it back so, so, so far with like three resets that all worked out and unfortunate. Awesome and he was looking real good for that first life bar, unfortunately. See if he can uh, recapture that momentum. I'm curious to see if uh, Duel picks somebody else. Nope. Okay. Yeah. I can only imagine that you'd pick, like, Clay, maybe? <laughs> maybe Omen? He definitely knows those characters, but. Jumping HP. Oh, oh my god, yeah. yes. <laughs> Tried it a third time. Enough. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Right? Stop it! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, cut it out. Enough. Oh God! You see a lot of that. You know, a lot of a lot of people just being like fed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, All the right. shadow whip there? Oh no. Yeah, that's unfortunate. 
in the corner eating pressure. Yeah. And also Chronicle just using a jab there in that case, right? Low risk, low reward. Mm -hmm. Because if he decides to explode there, I feel like the jab is small enough that it, where it might have just completely missed and he wouldn't have been able to get out of that. Right, exactly. Yeah, it's pretty common using like a light button to try and like bait uh, the explosion. Oh, he gets the confirm. Yeah, he's gonna break that. Yeah. Ooh, no side away there, the sand pit. Ooh, Ooh. gets caught with the sand light. <laughs> oh, wow. Man, yeah, Chronicle doing a great job there of just checking the neutral space with the shotgun eater. Oh, oh, but the assist shuts it down. And yeah. this is one of those situations that you had mentioned before, right? Where there are just some matchups where Conra has to work extremely hard. He yeah. got the hit with the uh, down four medium punch, but it wasn't enough because the assist was right there to discourage anything else at that point. Exactly. Let's see if we can get some pressure going here. Oh no, he loses the shadow pit though. He just gets jabbed out. Oh, nice confirming the ultra. The ultra assist buff. Two to two to zero. Chronicle. Doing a rough position. Like I said, I'm pretty sure he's not. He he never really switches. Uh, in tournament, he's he's gonna probably stick with. Uh, Khan. Yeah. Yeah, and this is a tough situation, right? Especially since uh, now at this point, you know, Chronicle is, uh, you know, Chronicle is on a tear. Yeah. Chronicle is not happy being in losers right now. Like, <laughs> this is not, this is not how it is. This is not the timeline that they were, that they were expecting, right? So, yeah. Yeah, definitely trying to, you know, get things cleaned up here. Needs that projectile out the air. Seeing some more air scarabs get in place just to cover approaches. I think Duel's tired of uh, getting jumped in on, getting floated in on. Oh my god, that float is so brutal. Hard knockdown. Oh no, gets the mix with the medium crescendo. Pushes him into the corner. Bait the instinct. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna need a lot of those solo twos. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, Ooh. hold on. This got a lockout. Let's start something. I'm started. Oh, he's dead. Potential death. Yeah. Ugh. Get it out. Yeah. Slow nice. on top of that as well. You needed that. Mm -hmm. Oh, so my God. Gutsy. Yeah, not gonna work on me. They said. Mm -hmm. ah, oh, jumping medium punch. Boo. Boo that button. Boo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, just raw jab in the face. Yeah, here we go. Chronicle trying to get something going. Duel having that, uh, oh. that eagle eye there, sniffing out the grab. Oh, gotta be careful. Yeah, it's, it's one of those cases where, like, Duel's kind of, like, overreacting, right? Like, he's reacting to everything that's happening, but it's tough because Arya's one of those characters that just tends to kind of overload you with it. Yeah. So, Oh, what a shadow oh. counter. Unfortunately. <laughs> Yo, and he's going to get the ideal opener off of that. Yeah, that nice. is super unfortunate. What a break. Right, like, okay, sure. But, you know, no flip out for you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hold on now. Duel got something going here. Oh, he... Did he actually get the hit? Oh, he did. Oh, oh my God. Oh no, the, the Aria special. Oh no. The Aria classic assist in the overhead. Oh, and yeah, gosh. Duel of the Sands floats, he wants out. You wanna know how I know? Because he fought me in top eight in 2016. SoCal <laughs> Regionals, look it up. Yo. He was playing Shadow Jango at the time. It's craziness, yep. right? So, you know, for almost 10 years, this guy has been putting in work, right? <laughs> one, one year after you guys played then, he, uh, I think he won NCR, did he not? Was I there? He got, like, top three. I don't know. Is it KITracker.com? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta look it up. <laughs> look it up. 
circle right now. We got oh, yeah. Alex B fighting from behind already. Oh, but he gets a lockout, so this is gonna be huge damage. Wow, still get to have time to break that. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, what another break. Mm -hmm. I, I love seeing. I was saying, oh my goodness. Ooh. Bro, that check was got like, oh, and he got the lockout. Uh, One more damage run out. out. Mm hmm. Chronic right, on loser side is gonna have to win a total of six games. Gonna have to reset the bracket to even have a chance to take the tournament. Alex B only needs three. He needs to win one. One set. Oh, nice DP. Oh my god. That's so hard to do executionally. Isn't it? Yeah. Trust me, I, I've tried and died so many times. <laughs> like, I, oh, anyway, I'm already gonna do it. You know, I mean, but it just goes to speed, so it's, again, like, Chronicle is one of those players, like how he was talking about with base, right? How he still plays. Chronicle mm -hmm. still plays. You, know, like, you just mentioned about how they did a they did first of 10, first of 15 with Ghoul, right? Ghoul, another player who still plays. There are people who still play and laugh this game. Crazy Skate D still laugh oh, yeah. this game. Posting Twitter videos almost every day. <laughs> the, nobody has stopped. <laughs> <laughs> We're now in the, the the Pantheon, right? We're now at Mount Olympus. You know, you have made it to the pinnacle. Maybe, maybe. We don't even know if this is it. The, the yeah, time, that's what's right? so <laughs> crazy is that there's actually so much more room for discovery, like I mentioned before, but you know, it's, it, like I said, there's, there's so much to this game and, and so many little details. That's what I love about it. It's all these little things you keep finding. The discovery process, you know. Yeah, for sure. Oh. Checks him with that nice confirm on that little forward. Oh, oh what a combo. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, what did we the just say? Out. There's just new stuff happening, even in front of our very eyes. <laughs> kind of crazy, right? You know when you think about it. Like, don't y'all get tired of this? Just, just, just being this godlike. Do y'all get tired of constantly showing us new stuff every time y'all play this game? I don't know. You know, maybe. What they I'm call it? Time. Winners fatigue. <laughs> Winners fatigue. <laughs> Yo. You know, like, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, God. Damn, must be nice. I wonder what that's like. Anyway. You know, like, man, I'm telling you, like, oh my goodness. <laughs> no. Oh, Oh, the dunk. Yeah, it lands and just domes him for it. Uh-huh. Right, you got rid of the problem, body. Can yeah. DP? Yes, there is. Oh, wow. Jump back, Abby. Love the axe. Oh my god, so much happening. It's even hard to see that overhead. Blackout, big damage. Ugh. Chronicle. Not happy at all. <laughs> oh. oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yo, come on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nice block. Ah. No. Wait a minute. Okay. Yep, there's more. Maybe not. Oh my gosh. What? Wow. Oh. Yeah, he popped instinct a little bit too late, I feel like. I'm surprised he waited so long. Wow. Give him the opportunity to shadow through it, or just DP in general. Dude, that's what I'm doing. I'm laughing. I'm like, ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. <laughs> I'm not even, I can't commentate that. I'm sorry. That was just, not, that was absolutely insane. I, I My brain melted on those last five seconds. <laughs> that is crazy. That was crazy. What was that, yo? Oh my goodness. To have the mental wherewithal, to have the wherewithal to reversal out of the setup, right? So you knew the setup yeah. was coming, you reversal out of it, you anticipate the hit, and you're prepared for the next mix up right after. All in a span of what, like three, four seconds? Yeah, even that's less. That's insane. That's so wild. Yeah, the, the awareness on these players is just like off the charts. That's insane. Ready. Fight. Back into it. Let's go. Oh, hits the assist. Takes a nice chunk of damage. Gets him back into the corner right away. I love the, uh, the seemingly random shotgun knees or blitzes. They're usually uh, to catch like a low poke or something like that. But Alex does like to use uh, low pokes to keep them in the corner. All right. 
going to boot your face. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, there's the other option, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? All right, back to business here. Chronicle immediately keeping the pressure up, but Instinct Cancel is going to force their way out. Yeah, All right, Alex B getting the corner carry going already. Another car coming. Rash's taxi service at your disposal. <laughs> Damn, I don't want to drive in that taxi. That looks dangerous. You know? <laughs> if it explodes on destination, or, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the original crazy taxi, right? <laughs> exactly. Like you just said, I don't want nothing you're selling. I don't want none of that. So Chronicle's going to go ahead and do the zoning thing here. Oh, dash up. I'm trying to catch a button. Oh, good catch there. Oh, wow, the assist. Still gives him the opportunity to get back into his face. Just anti-air shotgun blitz. Yeah, for sure. And this is going to be tough for Rash, right? Because Rash is going to be forced to call instinct here, which means he's not going to have it again for later on in the match. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got to make this count on the, uh, the blade body if he can. Mm -hmm. Which can be challenging because now Kron's got instinct. Yeah, yep, right into it. Here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, oh there it is. The, uh, like it. No, no dice on the boot there. I was, I was not familiar the last time. I am this time. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be brutal. Wow, catches him standing. Watch your toes. That and blade body, that, low forward, man. <laughs> and with that, that is going to be a bracket reset, folks. We are now in the danger room. We are now in the danger zone. Everybody floats down here on TNS. So here we go, folks. We are now in the last set of the evening. We have been rocking all night. 1,200 of you are checking us out tonight for Grand Finals. Thank you so much. We are joined tonight with the partner, Balls Dippy. Yo, it's great to be here, man. You know, a little, yeah. fading a little bit, but oh my God, so many good matches. That's why, like, yeah, it's, it's that's so hard to keep the energy up. I'm just like, oh my everything's goodness. God, like. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's like, oh man, there's more. Jeez, I can't take <laughs> so much more intensity. This is a lot. Now I know why yeah, all the- uh, a lot right now. I say, now I know why all the TOs put their tournaments between multiple days. <laughs> You know? Oh my mm -hmm. goodness. Yo, imagine being on the production side, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So remember, Ooh. folks, Chronicle was on the loser side, which means that he had to win that first set to actually have a chance to win the tournament. So with that victory on that first set, he now has reset the bracket. He has reset the grand finals aspect, which means now all he needs is one more victory to take the tournament set. However, Alex B being on the winner's side basically had a life to give in that sense. So still yeah. only needed three victories, three games here to uh, to come away here. But now it's anybody's game. We're going to see what happens. And you made a good point there. He had lives to give away. And it has crossed my mind that maybe, you know, a little downloading has been happening across these three games. So we'll see if Alex make some adjustments oh my god oh my and, god and here we go you know you just had to say something right so immediately <laughs> more boots break the overhead let's see uh see if we can keep up this momentum because once Kron gets going that's when like the trouble really starts to feel like and Alex Ooh. B already on a strong start right the button placement has improved tenfold mm -hmm. oh that oh, wasn't a full time hit wow Oh, the oh boot again. Yeah, he's goodness. tired of this. <laughs> he said, forget it. Oh my gosh. Yo, the button placement from Alex B right now. Absolutely masterclass. Oh, nice block. What a god. Yo. Online, too. Yeah. That's wild. And he jumped boot low. has been punished on this game alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and as you can see right now, Alex B is using those uh, steady light kick loops there to space Chronicle out so they can't actually utilize their best buttons here. You see them using those looping, those chain combos. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a great tool to, to create spacing traps. Oh god, gets the lockout. It's gonna be a throw. Nope, just goes for another setup. Oh dear. <laughs> oh my god, Tanner for me. Night and day difference right now. Immediately taking this game. It is looking like Alex B's game to lose, but Chronicle has been here before. Oh my god. Oh. Just... What a response. Yeah, he was. That was there was the uh, the combo breaker mind game, expecting a, a counter breaker, but Alex of course had the life to literally just say I don't care. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, Alex coming right back in very very dominant fashion. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. So Alex B coming back immediately with the first game of the grand final reset. Chronicle. Definitely gonna have to make some changes there, right? Alex mm -hmm. B just pretty much just played the spacing game. It wasn't even yeah. really mix up heavy, it was just a lot of harassment from afar, you know, playing a very awkward spacing to keep Aria out and to keep Aria out. Yeah. Know? He was so literally zoning right with there. normals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? It's kind of crazy when you think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow, what a confirm. He's got that so... Like, I didn't know, realize how, how late you can confirm uh, Crouch and Medium Kick. Now he's in the corner. Oh, Life lead on Alex's no side again. I, need for you. I can do that too. Oh my god, still gets the break and he needed that because that was the body. Right. I think he actually needs to switch soon. Yeah. Oh, All right, so... get the lockout. Some damage. Let's see what the setup is. Mm. Yeah, that was nasty. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, gets recapped. And that yeah, outright kills him. <laughs> That's all he needed. Alright, here we go. Popping in his tank. Oh, oh my god! Oh my gosh. So that didn't hurt too much because he didn't get a level 4 because of the uh, damage soaking across the bodies, but still. Now all the bodies are suffering. Oh, another break. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. He yeah. knew he was going to try to push a button there. Uh-oh. No shadow, so that's good for Kron. But oh my god, he no. has it so hard. This is uh, a brutal position. <laughs> yeah, base, for sure. Yeah, base body is not going to get much done here, if anything at all. Oh, nice play. Oh, oh my oh god. Oh my god. Yo. <laughs> Thought of trying to pop god. instinct or something. Oh. <laughs> These cameos are killing Yo, Alex me. coming right back. Immediately too. You said it right. There might yeah. have been just some information getting you know being gathered there on that first set. Yeah. He just Having needed that to... extra life. Yeah, he downloaded the PDF in the first set, he just had to open it. <laughs> you know? Just had to read the notes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of a lot of rash love in the chat. You know, again, Alex B, one of the uh, up and comers in, in the uh, recent years, right? So a lot, a lot of love for this for this player in uh, Chronicle. Not necessarily like the villain, right? But you know, it's just, it's like <laughs> nobody. Kobe said it best, right? Nobody comes to see Kobe win. Right? Yeah. <laughs> We we know the we know the real reason why people will go to see Kobe. Yeah. We want to see can they do it? Can they finally take down the beast? The but you monster. Know what's, right? You know what's funny is that goes for both these players. That, a lot of people want to see that for Alex as well. A lot of people had that rash hate going on for years. Yeah, know, right. <laughs> and Alex uh, definitely took the brunt of that, unfortunately. But oh, now he's taking the brunt of a shadow counter. Uh oh, this is going the opposite way. Maybe uh, maybe we got a download going the other way. Yeah, burning out that instinct meter, mm -hmm. building up some meter for themselves in the process. Oh, throws him out the corner. Oh, he yeah. wants the float, uh, try some float mixing. Oh no! Ooh. Tried to anti in there a little late. Wow, what a late break. Oh! And another one. Alright. Chronicle understanding now that uh, Alex is pretty much just going to get right back in there after a breaker. Ugh, chip out. damage. 
Oh, clips the assist. They added recovery to all the assists uh, in the anniversary update, so it's much easier to actually punish them. Oh no, Kron missed the uh, damage ender. Oh no, not enough range on a DP there. All right, it looks like Alex B is calming down a little bit. No more ram after at the breaker. <laughs> oh, and a whiff punish there on the uh, chain combo. Nice. Catch him walking back. Mm. Playing real neutral now. That's a lockout. That's a big damage. Yeah, now I love four. And one more chance. Ooh, more footsies. Oh. Oh, from downtown, the crouching <laughs> oh medium punch. Oh my god! Got a breaker! Dang. Okay, let's do one Chronicle. Okay. We have a real set. Let's go. And the back and forth between these two is, uh, I don't know how else to describe it other than violent. <laughs> Here we go, folks. We got a game. Chronicle with a game on the board. Alex looking to close things out. So a lot of adaptation on both sides, right? Chronicle coming out hot, getting that reset, you know? Alex V getting to download themselves, getting uh, two quick games there in the reset. And now Chronicle fighting back. Oh, and a whiff punish. Great. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, goes for the goes for the heavy for once. Yep, and that's a little score in there, going for the mix up there. And I like how they threw buttons out on purpose to try to bait Alex into throwing a button and getting hit by the assist. Oh, opener ender, unfortunately. Yep. Wow. Oh, no dice on the counter breaker. Going to that well too many times. Oh god, this shotgun blitzes him in the face. <laughs> Realizing that the instinct mean we're pretty much out at that point, you know, he couldn't really do much about it. Oh, with the overhead. Oh my god, that throw is super damage. Yeah, thrash is throw it. <laughs> oh, oh no. Try to go for a hard read there with the DP. At least he's gonna get some damage oh. soaking. Alright. Made a stick, of course, you know, had to come up with a resource to do it, but... Oh, he the dead body! Yeah, he killed it. Yep. Oh, yeah, I had to, because that was mad punishable. But, still trying to push after minus two. Mm. Oh, try to convert there. Nice right, bait. Wait it out. Nice oh, shadow, shadow counter. counter. It was bound to happen eventually. Mm -hmm. Only do that so many times against Alex. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh, oh. back in it. Oh my god. Oh, my gosh. These reads on the breakers are insane tonight. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't see him coming. And I thought I played the break game pretty well. Awesome. <laughs> Game five! Game five! Going all the way for this set. Let's go. Oh, final, final game. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I couldn't ask for anything more. Now I'm hype. Let's go. Yeah, I'm telling you. This was it. This was it. This was it. This bracket has been absolutely bananas the yes. entire night. The entire night. Not a single moment, not a single dull moment. Super happy that everybody you can could tune in tonight and catch this. Remember, folks, Tampa never sleeps, and neither should you. Right. Ooh, roll forward check. Oh my god. Blackout. Throw. There we go. Oh yeah, Chronicles feel it now. He's getting in there. However, Alex B doing the same. Breaker. Such a late break. Blocks the overhead. Text the throw. Grab. Yeah. Get them in the corner. This is already back and forth as a game. Well, he might actually kill him off this. Could a chip out here, DP? Nice. Yes. Had to use Shadow. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah, trying 
trying to get out of there. No, he just wants a little chip. It's not <laughs> given to him. What? There's no way. Uh-oh. They just want to hit the assist. That's all. That's all. So greedy for oh. it. Now he's going to pop instinct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I love it. I love right. everything about this game. Ooh! Gets the overhead, gets the uh, the ender uh, cancel again. <laughs> right. We've seen like 15 of those just from Alex in, in this night. Just crazy. Oh, wow. That was an amazing. Oh, an amazing no. Lead. Chronicles getting some damage here. Level four. Oh, wow. He went for meter. Oh, oh what a shimmy. Chronicle, you're disgusting. Oh, this is getting crazy right on the corner. Oh my god. What a block. This oh my god, the read. Round. Nice clean hit could do it for Chronicle. Oh, to you kidding me. Oh my goodness. Oh, Epi jump throw. Oh, DP. Yeah. Yeah, got to get pop. out of here. Next hit to do it for Chronicle. Guess for game. DP into oh. this thing. Oh my gosh. And Chronicle with the ultimate. Yo, oh. confirm in the ultimate. Kron, too good. Checked him, was ready for the confirm, and gave him the business. GG is all around. Wow. What a set to end it on. Ultimate. <laughs> oh, God. Please. <laughs>